Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Monday. Very happy to be here again. We're going to kick off with the Spelunky 2 daily and go from there. Let me get into the mine shaft here. Look at Kyle, everybody, in your wonderful support. A lot of cool people here, nice and early, I do see. We uh, won on yesterday's daily. It was a crazy one. It was really tough, and we barely scraped through. We did have a Celeritas victory. One hour, 54 minute daily. It was pretty good. Pretty good. All right, here we go. Night Gecko, what's good? Smurfizzle. Hey there, Kmod9, Oily Rain Cloud. What's up, Pinball Box at Grog? Tavi893, Tharson, Violet Starling, Manfred, and all the other cool early people. Appreciate you being here. Chat scroll properly. We'll do some penguin in the hole here. Penguin in the hole. Penguin. That's not penguin in the hole. That's penguin in the moon, sir. Penguin in the hole. All right. Penguin to the moon. You wouldn't throw that penguin to the moon, would you? He just did. Penguin 180. Turn around, chair, sit down. All right. Here we go. My man. My man. That is certainly a start to the daily free turkey and an arrow trap right off the bat. Wow. Wow. I don't know. I don't like the look of the snake up here. There we go. Feeling better already. Oh, interesting. It's not able to whip right there. That's a little weird. Well, a very profitable start to this daily. Wow. Bloop. What we got going on here? Ropes. I always psych myself out a little bit on that jump. I don't know. Like, if you jump too early, you're dead, so... A little bit scary. Guess we're gonna leave that alone. And good choices were made. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Okay, hold up. This is really funky. Hot dog, them dogs are hot, hot dog. Hey, a turkey right here, man. Turkey, 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 turkey tang. Turkey tang, turkey tang, turkey tang. Three bombs, eh? Dun, 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 dun. Three bombs. Machete also kills Yang here, so that's uh, that's a something. Oh. I'm gonna skip the ghost turn here. We just have too much uh, too much in inventory holding right now to be doing that. Just right by the exit here. Awesome.
you know what? I'm going to cook these turkeys right here. Delicious. Oh, I should have waited for the fourth turkey here. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, Turkey Town was a bus. Now we all know. Chip chop. All right, I mean, pretty nice first two levels. I don't say so myself. Dang, R Star PD, 135 months though. That is more than 11 years, dude. Okay. Really hard to get to. Maybe we can get to that from below. Find out here soon. Here's the dwelling. Nice. You'll love to see it. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's two bombs and a rope to get the damsel, which is not guaranteed to be seen. So we're looking at three bombs and two rope to get uh, one half of Kapala. Okay, well, let's do this. I'm going to be using ropes anyway. Let's choose another one right here. If I didn't have extra ropes, I would not be taking this route, but I do. Sprongs are great. Yeah, I, I see you there, Poochie. I do. I do. Almost place that um near the shop. A little disastrous. Oh good, skeleton key. Good. But one half to Kapala is definitely not bad. Also kind of feeling more like a jungle than a volcano. But we do have spring shoes. I like power pack into jungle, that's fun. Certainly set up financially for uh, jungle too. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Saw the blood there, so we know we got the kill. Listen here, Mr. Spoots, not today. I'll be back. I go down here because I wanted to waste another rope. That's why. That's why. Just had it in my head. I could get back up. That was not. Uh, that was not the case. 
Hey there, Black Point. Hope you're having a nice one too, man. What's good? Okay. Jungi, here we come. Hey, thanks, Ash. Appreciate that. Sure, we'll need good luck. It is Spelunky, after all. But just a little closer, sir. I will think about it. Oh, yeah, that's kind of gross over there, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, excuse me, sir. I need your boomerang. Thanks. Honestly, that little section right there, while well, you can just, like, blast through, is <laughs> really rude. What a game. I can see myself dying on that. I can also imagine lots of other people dying on that, too. Okay. That's great. Spike shoes, all right. Okay, so is this the key area or the sister? It's going to be the key because there is no sister on 2-1. Whoa there, bud. You all right? All right, he didn't die. That's great. Look at that free-range turkey right there. Dang. Kapala get. I got over 70k here too before black market. Nice. Okay, this is not the black market because the challenge area is here. Versus Boat. Yo, Feta Rob, thanks for 28 months cruising. What's in the box? What's in the boxes? We're both compass, guys. Both the boxes. We're compass in here. Oh, boy. Spelunky sure does have a sense of humor. I'll tell ya. Double compass. Get out of here. You believe this guy? What a really great power pack this has been. Okay, we did rescue the sister here, right? Almost certain. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. fan of this segment, especially while wearing spike shoes. Or spring shoes, rather. I'm just gonna use a bomb. Keep it simple, keep it cool. No, no black market here. We can also tell it because of the compass. Hey! I heard Hecky Borfin. Of course, yeah. Listen here. Can't make it back up here. Unless, unless, that's Monkey Man. was a little close for comfort. There's the sister. go. Okay, we know black market's here for certain, but I'm not sure. What is this? I've never seen this configuration with the double uh, spikes like that. That's really weird. I like it. Yoho Calendar Man, thanks for that tier 2 13 month subscription. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So it appears that the black market's below. That's good. So this upper section is really weird. In here? It's flipping that fast. Power pack will definitely get the entrance. Welcome to the black market. Got 100,000, so we're just going to buy Hajit right now. Buy paste, bombs too. What's in the box, man? It's a bear trap. Haha. Uh -huh. Yo, green gloves down here. Love it. I'm going to swap to yellow cape now. Actually, is that true? Hold on. Let me think about this. So. No, nah, we're good. Did run out of money though, wow, that's surprising. Here we go.
All right, we are going to Olmec in the hole here because we can. Bloop. Monk has no idea. No idea what's coming. He's ready for a three-phase fight. Nah. Get done. Get dunk a -ronied. Here we go. The uh, one in the sunken temple does have the gem annihilate. It can fly, so you can take whatever assumptions you want from that. Nothing directly, no. All right, so type pool run for sure. That was cool. He only had a couple HP left. All rise, gamble time. What do you got, madame? A jetpack, perhaps? Teleporter? That's not a jetpack. Come on now. Crossbow. It's a five, not a not a one. There we go. Alright, uh final item, pitcher's mitt. That's an item we don't have, so that's cool. Okay, I at current don't have enough to uh, take on the challenge, so... God, that's kind of brutal, though. I want that money. Ah, eh, there'll be enough. Need, what, 20k? 25k? We'll figure it out. Twenty-five. 
I'm gonna collect the nugget that drops in here so that we get some cash back. I don't wanna end up at the Sunken Temple challenge area short on cash. I missed one apparently. There it is. Good enough. There is not a shrine on this level, fair enough. So no eggplant here. I am gonna clone equipment, I don't see why not. Becoming overall less and less reliant on bombs and ropes when I play in Cosmic Oceans, so we'll uh, we'll give up the clone gun for a chance at jetpack or whatever. It's a chance at something. He's helping. Collect my ropes at the bottom here, too. Oh, good, a third compass. Oh, good. Where did I leave Excalibur? Probably at the bottom of the lake. That's the one. Fair. Bucks, fine. Okay, well, I mean, here's this. I have not seen the Yang entrance yet. I guess it won't be Yang, because we killed Yang on this run. Where is it? Where is this? Yeah, maybe I did see it up here. I'm worried about getting ambushed by a uh, Jiang Shi here. Okay, they went all the way up there. There it is. Ricky. Yep. Yep. Cool uh, secondary entrances over here, huh? Answer is no. Oh my god, that was way closer than it should have been. I don't know why that happened. I don't need to know. I simply need to know that I am alive. Okay, where's the door? Right there. All right. That was heckin' spicy for sure. Later, Tater. Still trying to figure out what caused that. 
I can think of a few reasons, but nothing, nothing concrete. Probably like a gem or something in the wall. We didn't even see that. I don't know. Something was weird there. Yeah, there's a gem in the pillar. That would do it. That would do it. Boy, there's like no yetis in here. Okay. Well, later, guys. explosions here okay I'm like pretty low on cash I should really consider uh, collecting what I can just to make sure we're good for sunken temple let's go might even rob Madame Tusk here that'd be a, an objective I mean like down here is it Oh, these are perma. Okay. This is not the way then. Yoinks, man. What a what a level. This has to be the way then. Wow. This is a very serious Neobab. All right. I sense a lot of deaths on the daily on that level. Okay, we do need to get rescue Chilin here. Gotta find the, the area. Be careful. Hopefully it's just down on the bottom. There it is. Our wishes came true. Alright, what do we got going on here? Smiling Jade Eye, looking for a smiling green statue with an eye on it. It's right here at the entrance. Blessed day. I'm gonna bomb here. I've seen enough, thank you. All right, I'm going to leave Chilin up here. I'll be back. I'm going to slow roll this level. That's going to separate the elevators. We'll be ready for that. We're going to go in here. We're not going to uh, bomb up here. I'm going to go in the back entrance. I almost got crushed right there, by the way. Almost. Oh, yeah. Okay. put my dog a legend up here instead. It's fine, we can deal with that later.
This is a heist. Not even a real dead guy. What a shame. Okay, that's a start. Okay, this guy figured it out down there. He did not. So let's grab this guns. Oh, my Chi Lin. Oh, no. Where do I leave my dog? There's my dog. Hey, okay, no. done the Madame Tuss deal in quite a while. It was uh, a caper. Gonna go ahead and grab the health here. Oh, okay, since there's a shop here, the challenge is here. Interesting, it's got shop waddler and the challenge here. The rarity. I think I'm going to use bomb method here to simplify things. some new new cape here there we go get that old stinky cape out of here she did a warp yeah let's bust this from the top i'm gonna use a bomb on this crate why not man
Aj. Oh, that's exactly why you don't shoot the arrow across the water right there. I almost did, and I was like, but wait, what if there is the ghost urn right there? That would have been pretty bad. Probably run ending, honestly. Check back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Some people are going to lose the daily on that. No doubt. No question. I mean, I've certainly lost runs doing that exact thing, which is why I didn't do it there. It's not all that uncommon to hit a ghost turn when you shoot into blind with anything. Shotgun, too. A lot of getting better at Spelunky is just uh, acquiring a list of things you shouldn't do and then sometimes not doing them. That's, uh, that's it. That's the game. the Hundun climb remains. Tricky section right there. So well above average difficulty Hundun climb. Nothing insane, but uh, definitely a difficult one. Okay, let's get our bow put away up here. did it from 1-1 one, one, the Cosmic Ocean. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty smooth, Jay. There's the exit. Doesn't appear to be a huge level. Oh yeah, this is cool. Ugh. Land. All right, entering Cosmic Ocean here. Just going to take a very short break. Just going to stretch, refill my water, do all that stuff. Encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a second for the official kickoff of Cosmic Ocean on the daily. Yeah.
Alrighty, we have returned. Let's continue this daily. Been a cool one. I like yellow cape a lot. It's uh, it's kind of a yellow cape, spring shoes, and a glove is a, it's a fun run. It's a lot funner once you have a more complete understanding of movement in Splunky, but it's uh, a, a nice kit for Cosmic Ocean. It's not quite as mobile as Double Jump, but it's not nearly as dangerous as having Jetpack on. Uh, and having to worry about every source of fire damage. I've seen anything from Orbs yet. What's going on here? That'd make a good last orb. I'm going to leave that. Since we're on Yellow Cape, you'll more commonly see me do the, the last orb thing where I leave one orb for the final one. That was two. And the reason for that is we don't have as much movement, so doing crazy dodges and stuff isn't as reliable. Bonk. Oh my god, do you see that? Listen here, bud. Take care of this problem right now. See orb here as well. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use some bombs here. God bless. There's a lot of poison on this level. Stop it. Okay, well... Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, this level is just bananas. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, thanks, Mr. Cram. Okay. There's like a very basic grid search here. It's not going very well. That's a Okay, there's one. Um, yeah, they'll say, but where is that coming from? There it is.
It is not Benjamin that's been uh, completed for several months now. If there's ever a current challenge going on with Spelunky, I'll have it uh, in my title. With some certain. Or almost certain. Just a daily run today. Okay, that side we do not want to go back to. Do not. That's orb three right there. That's fair. I deserve that damage. We did disarm the the guy here, so that's good. I'm going to do myself a huge favor and just bomb through here. Let's grab this one. Okay, then. That she release a B? She did. That's one. Oh man. Okay, well, level's not very big, so that's nice. Ooh, lay. What is going on over here? Boy, that's some tricky business right there. Why why would it come from there though? Man. This certainly is a video game, and its name is Spelunky 2. It's doing it. Okay, there's the exit. Nice. I did it too. And me as well. I trust nothing about this game right now. These, temp these temples have been just downright brutal. Where we just were. You know, I just got poisoned. That's definitely fair. 
Definitely fair. Not the end of the world here. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> that snake stuck, man. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I got all turned around on that. There's a lot of enemies there. Hot dog. Hot dog. Them dogs are hot. Okay, we do not have cape on right now. I'm going to wait for the jelly to get over here, and then we're going to loop back around. Pick up our cape on the way out. Wow. All right, well, uh, we survived. That really had absolutely nothing to do with being poisoned. Nothing changed for me at the moment we got there. It was just the end of that level was exceptional. Too many things for my brain to compute at once. All in all, a very acceptable use of the Ankh. Not hard to imagine that being the worst thing that happens on this entire run. Though with Spelunky, it can always get a little worse. Always some weirdness waiting to happen. Double crushed. Dang. Snake poison on the outside. Seen. Alright then. Brutal temple. Wow. I'm impressed by the difficulty of the seed right now. It's a real one. last orb here. Oh yeah, why wouldn't it be right next to a bunch of uh, stuff? Hey, you too, Sykes. Hey there, Opnul. I don't know about the seed, dude. The seed's, uh... I don't know, the, yesterday's daily seed was also crazy, but I feel like this one's at least front-loaded, been a lot more difficult. Just the four temples that have uh, been here, I'd say, are like... They were all more than eight out of ten difficulty temples. Nasty config. And that's cool, man. Difficulty is what makes this game great.
Okay. There's an arrow trap right on the exit here. Gotta be wary of that. It's almost kind of obscured too, so I'm gonna take a wide, wide loop into that one. Three, huh? It's right next to the exit? It is. Okay. Beautiful. Hey, Zelsey, nice to see you, dude. Wow. Let's just stay away from that area for the rest of the level. Hobekador, thanks for 62 months. 62. I don't know where this orb is. Uh, I'm assuming that it's up here somewhere. Like, it's got to kind of be above the exit in this zone. Maybe. That guy, not okay. <laughs> that guy's not okay anymore. Okay, so there it is. There it is. It's two, not three. Two. There it is right there. Wow. Unbelievable. Just when you think it can't get any more difficult, Spelunky 2 delivers. Jay clutching it. Bonk. What? Excuse me? Okay, so the skull appeared at the point where he was stunned. Which I knew could happen, I just wasn't ready for it there.
Yo, old chief 92. Thanks for 48 months. Thank you. Yeah, you're not wrong. Those skulls will follow you for a really long time if they're within range. Okay, so... All right, then. Let's try this this way, then. There's the exit right there. I can see it. If I can see it, I can bomb into it. Blunky's literally making me put on a clinic this run. A lot of explosions. Just keep my head low for a sec. Here, I think I saw it down there. I did. Definitely not minding using resources here. We've been managing resources very well. I would like to find a mummy to get to back to a normalized health amount. That'd be nice. Or not, or we're going to die right here. Oh, no. GG. Well, I, I missed my jump around the corner there, and uh, I paid the price. That was a... Uh, Particularly difficult daily, and I enjoyed it a lot. Let's see where that puts us, huh? There you have it. Number 13. Let's check 7-2 here, which is that ghost urn. I don't know, as many 7-2s you'd think. Boy, what a run. It's reflecting on that run for a moment. It was a good one. I'm trying to think like what made what made that uh, that cosmic ocean feel so much more difficult than yesterday, which yesterday had uh, its handful of really huge moments. Like there was just something about that seed. I think it was the density of enemies on the temple uh, levels in particular that made it feel uh, the way it did. I think most of the uh, the weirdness in yesterday's daily was a jetpack and there's a lot of neobab and volcano but nothing nothing like those temple levels we got at the start there yo ho dope fish thanks for that tier 3 117 month appreciate that boy hounds yeah, that third temple we had in particular with the uh, the exit that was the small square and then it had the two summoners 
on the left hand side near the orb with the cat and then the summoner and the croc inside the exit that was the highlight for me definitely a toughie All right, guys, we're going to head into uh, some Slice and Dice now. Another game I've been really enjoying. Nice to get back to the Splunky 2 daily, though. Yo, Andural, thanks for 38 months. Appreciate that. Let me figure out what we're going to be playing here. So we have a blur to run. What is our blurst at right now? Fight three? Nothing. That's right. Was I going to re-roll this one? All right, let's check out raid mode here. Um, we're going to do raid hard mode, 10 heroes, double monsters, no items, only level ups. So try changing UI scale to minus one, we'll do, we'll do. Let's get my prop set up here and we'll be in. Yo, large page Hyundai. Thanks so much for 90 months. Less than one year to that hundo indeed. Yeah, that's fine. We'll try hard mode here. Okay, let's go to at least uh, UI minus one here. Try UI minus two. That looks, that looks good. Uh, maybe three? How far we have to go down to have it be seeing everybody's name? I guess it's four here. All right, 10 characters. Okay, hard mode, choose a curse. You cannot lock more than one dice at a time. Okay, okay. Before fights one through four, choose a tier one curse. Stone first, first turn all monsters, HP must be removed individually. I don't think that's like the worst here. Uh, spells cost plus one mana is also fine with 10 characters. Let's go for expensive spells on this one. <laughs> that's tough, man. That's tough. Yeah, slippery dice would be really difficult. Okay, so I guess what we do on this is we just start locking in things that look okay. Okay, we have cut as well. Interesting. Yo, well, these two bees are dying. Uh, Clumsy is dying. Squire is not. All right, so if this bee dies, fighter's alive. We also don't have... I didn't get any block here, which was a choice I made. We'll kill this bee. We'll kill this bee. This bee. We'll hit this B2. Okay. I'll try one more up on the UI skill here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Meddler summoned a bones, because why wouldn't they? Okay, that's gonna be good for killing the bones, though. Which does injure the archer. 
So let's hit for two here, then we'll hit here. Pop that out. Hit for one here. We're down to archers now. Nice. So who's hitting defender? The top archer. There's so many dice. Okay, three mana good. Mana good, mana good. Oh, this is way over right now. Alright, Herbalist or Jester? With uh, the cost of spells plus one, Vine is much less useful, though not... Not out of the question. Let's go ahead and take Herbalist here. So we're on raid hard mode and our uh, double monsters. We have double the amount of heroes. And I guess somebody has died to thorns. We've got expensive spells here, which is fair. Alright, fighter. Looking for a little bit of block now. Is that a dodge on lost? Awesome. Way to be. Let's take this so we don't summon other bones on accident. Poison doesn't sound bad either. Yeah, this is raid mode, so double double heroes, but also double monsters, and no no items. I don't think just level ups. Okay, well, uh, we didn't get any block. We got one here, so let's hit this thorns like that. Then we'll hit this thorns like that. I wish I had another dice to target with, but I don't. No, let's hit the the rat that's doing damage here. Okay. The one. Is this on Cultist? It is. It's going to kill Cultist. We'll just have any usable sides. The one damage side right now? Okay. I feel like we're pretty close to done here. Let's roll it. Roll them bones. Two mana. Poison's good. This is fine when we die for it. Not true if we heal. Okay. Hitting Meddler, fine. Nine mana. Let's go for a slay here on for four. First here, and... Ah, we can save for slay next round. Good enough. No need to keep rolling. Boom, bam, blammo. Last legs. Win a fight with four plus heroes on one HP. Unlocks this. Swap terminal all side. Two times if I have one HP. Interesting. All right. Well, basically anything's better than lazy who has four empty sides. So we're going to take collector here. Lazy do be lazy. Believe that. Yo, Jaboot, thanks for 58 months. Thank you so much for that support. Thank you all so much for your subs and resubs. I really do appreciate it. Wow, that's a lot of action here, man. Uh, Part of me wants to save Clumsy with the heal, but I'm thinking probably just roll then. Just toss this back out. Two damage Cruel Dagger, two damage here is fine too. Two mana is fine. Two mana is fine. Three mana is fine. Okay. Um, seems lockable. Gives me a targetable side too. Ah, roll for it, clumsy. Roll for your life, friend. He tried. 
who's hitting Lost? A lot of people are hitting Lost. I have to remove five damage from Lost to to get this. That's going to be very tough. Who are you attacking? What? Oh, you were attacking the... Uh, Clumsy. Got it. Well, let's see where we're at on mana real quick. We have nine mana, so we can cast Burst three times. That removes a wolf. That removes a goblin and two health off wolf. Uh, if we can do three damage to something, we can... Use the Cruel Dagger to get effect. Seems like it doesn't really matter, because it's going to do three damage either way. Let's go here, and here, and here. Okay, Lost is saved at least. I think we go here, and then we... I want to kill this guy, but the, the truth is this is not... Not that good. Okay, let's hit um, here, and then we'll use Slay to kill an enemy with 3 HP. And we're going to call that good for now. Raid mode sure is interesting. Alright, 3 mana good. Uh, damage self heals fine. I wouldn't say so, Doctor. I wasn't saying interesting in a bad way. I was saying interesting in a good way. Uh, okay, if we go here and then we hit here, it does get him down to one. Okay, what does this bring us to? Six. All right, let's see what this looks like real quick. If we hit here and here, and then we slay. Everybody's alive, and we just have to do four damage to one goblin. Nice. Get that bones out of here. Okay, I think this is the kill. Big time. Nice. Uh, Evoker is pretty good for the uh, four damage, the topmost enemy. Also, double Bramble is brutal because this gives all heroes add single use to all sides. I wish that the Evoker was uh, taking over the Meddler instead of the Cultist. I still think acceptable, though. This drop spell is very powerful, and that could be a win condition versus the Bramble. Alright, Meddler summoned a Bones, as is tradition. Where's the dice with the Bones on? Oh, it went to single use. Okay, that's fair. I guess we probably just keep rolling uh, that, then. Using duplicate isn't as good as we think here. It's nice if they already have X's, but if we don't have X's, then it's going to single use the other sides or the usable sides that were duplicated over. Okay hit the bramble here the primary goal has to be getting these brambles down like we have a lot of incoming damage and i think even dropping a hero or two here to kill brambles faster is better okay one bramble down let's just use the hand here and who's hitting? Are you hitting Squire? I guess we burst the rat then. Let's 
heal clumsy. This is raid mode, uh, T-Swirl. Double enemies, double heroes. And no, no, uh, inventory loot, just level, hero level ups. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Nice. Gonna take this too. We get the poison out of the bramble this turn, we should be okay. Yes, we still have enough damage sides and mana sides left after this. Okay, so we're gonna go two and two and two. Yay, Bramble's down. Well, I can certainly see Sparky being good because we have three uh, or three or four mana sources as we level up. So that's nice. Uh, Priestess with heal all is potentially amazing too because heal all could be up to ten heal. Hmm. Priestess is pretty nice. Take a look at Splint's sides here. Yeah. It's a little bit less overall mana, but... Good. Okay, let's take Sparky here. Yes, replacing Meddler is nice. I didn't even see that was the Meddler replacement. All right, hoping to pull some cleaves here. Just some nasty illusions. Wow. Killing Warchief is fine, too. Take the two mana here. Okay, well, it's at least two damage with Sparky. Potentially more. Okay, now six damage. So we can kill a Warchief with this. Awesome. Good to six damage. Just gains the amount of damage uh, we have mana. Zip Zapman. All right, let's go here and then let's hit for one and let's cast. Uh, I no longer have Slay. Okay, never mind. Do have Zap though. I guess we're gonna win this fight on round one. Awesome. Yeah, if you're new to this game, it is a uh, roguelike dungeon game uh, using dice. So each of your characters have six side dice, as do the enemies, and you uh, roll in different configurations. It's a very good game. Uh, just released on iOS and Steam as well, though it's been around for a while on itch.io and Android. Probably going to take Gambler here. I like the cantrips, but... Oh, I like the cleave too here. Double enemies. Let's take Berserker. It is a step up in damage. That's not the that's not the command. Slice? That's the one. That's the one. Alright, well the mana charge on Sparky was very useful last time. Let's take that. I think two damage is good. Also on lost. We can do better. It cleaves great, poison's great, mana. Alright, Evoker missed big time. It's kind of a rough turn. Let's go here. And here. And we're gonna double cleave, killing this quartz. Okay, only one damage on that, huh? I think I'm going to drop the, the one damage into this court, so next turn I can get it. 
Okay, the other option would be killing the bottom quartz instead. Who are you attacking? So you're not killing the defender. Maybe we kill this quartz then. All right, even better here. I'm going to hit with the Sparky, and then I'm going to poison the other quartz or poison a snake. You know, a lot of poisoning coming here too, dang. Unfortunately, Clumsy's dead here. That's not surprising though. Uh let's hit the course, because then we're just a two damage hit away, or a one damage hit away from finishing it next round. There's our one damage hit. Go ahead and take the hand on Squire too, because we can pull uh, the aggro off a loss. That's going to be a really amazing uh, Sparky here. Going to one shot one of these snakes for us. Awesome. Let's just bop him for the kill too. Drop is four damage. No, that's the one. All right, great round. Trapper or Cleric? I'm going to take Cleric here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Trapper, and the Execute's actually very nice to roll into, but Cleric's in their source of mana, and uh, having more mana with Sparky is uh, definitely like um, a little bit of a win condition where we can, you know, take one enemy out right away, and that's really nice. Pretty big fan of high mana builds. Okay, Collector's dying this round, so this is double attack. That's Death Wish. I'll take the four attack here too, though it is killing, it probably won't actually kill him when we're done with this turn. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Two, four, six, eight attack on Sparky. That is going to stun one of the Cyclops, which is doing 15 damage right now. No, it's doing much more. It's doing 30 damage across the party. 30. That's bananas. Okay, who's Militia attacking? Herbalist and Collector. Okay, before we stun that, we need to use Collector's attack. Which I'm going to do on this Militia. Then we're going to hit here. And... Here. Militia reads, if I get... Five, five plus shields, uh, they flee. So we're going to shield the collector here for five. You see Clumsy is also still dying. That's tough. What if instead of making the militia flee, we go like this. Stun the other Cyclops and then... Do that. Looks cool. <laughs> yeah, clumsy. Well, you did that to yourself. Okay, that's true. I'm gonna take the shield here because it allows me to use the berserker. This should certainly be a kill. Okay, Juggler's a better version of Clumsy. Also, Druid's really nice for this fight because it has the one damage to all enemies, heal one all allies. I think just for the uh, damage all heal all spell alone, Druid is very powerful here. Yeah, this game's great on all devices in my experience. 
All right, before we go any further here, there are some kitties that need treats, and I also need to eat a little uh, lunch myself. Give me just a second here. Fix this cam. Fit to screen. Rotate 180. That's us. I will be back in just a few minutes for some more fun. Please do enjoy these cuter kitters right here. Yeah, you guys. Be back in a few minutes for the continuation of our first attempt on raid mode on hard. Be right back.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience there. Let's head back into our run here on raid mode, hard mode. Just picked up Druid here. We have double... Um... Double characters, uh, but also double enemies on this one. Man, Clumsy's just gonna die here if I don't take this right now. Can I even, like, heal Clumsy or anything? Not really. Definitely not gonna take Sparky out. I like this better. Well, let's take two damage Cruel. I just noticed this is double Slime Queen. That's pretty gross. Okay, well... We go here, and we go here. That does that. We got eight damage hit right here. Clumsy rolled their, um... They have two sides that are self-damage if they roll them. So they rolled one of those is what happened. Okay, so we can kill either Slime Queen. The question is, is it better to kill one rather than the other? I'm not sure. Okay, we're at seven damage hit with that. Oh, cool. So I never tried out raid mode in uh, 2.0, so that's uh, good to hear it's improved. Okay, hold up. What if I ignore the slimelets altogether? Let me cleave here. Well, not altogether, but the ignore the top one. Hit here. Hit for seven here. Okay, seven both slimers, right? Go get the kill. Looking a lot better on health here, for sure. Well. If we kill this slime that we can cast drop on the slime queen. I think that looks okay. Uh, maybe I should be killing these slimers first, but I feel like the slime queen is the majority of the damage in this fight. So if we can just take this out, we should be in a much better position. The fin collector. Yeah, it's my very first time playing Rainbow, in fact. It's been uh, interesting, fun. There's definitely a lot more uh, things to think about with the dice, but really, uh, in Slice and Dice, the majority of the calculations come down to how much damage do I have, can I save everybody, and then... And that's about it. Okay, three's good here. Best side, even. Leaves definitely good. That's three damage. Can Collector do better than this? Okay, good. Is that Sparky? That's Sparky. Regeneration would be good. We can do better. Not the best roll, but definitely not the worst either. Hmm. I'm thinking, like, if I can get a little bit more mana, I could cast this on everybody. But probably best just to do a drop here and look for the balance next round, since nobody's actually going to die. Let's defend the top and the bottom, because there is the one attack that goes, uh, goes there. Hey there, Color Tan. Good to see you again. And yeah, you really can uh, simplify the calculation on just looking at pips and stuff. I agree. One of my favorite things about Slice Dice, you can kind of take it as serious as you want to. There's a lot of in-depth calculation you can do as far as looking at percentages of sides versus damage and uh, hero picks and all that. But you can also just pick and go and have a pretty good time as long as you're sensible about it. 
what the way I calculate usually is I decide what's the best side for the hero and then uh, do a decision tree from there. I found that greatly simplified things for my, my purposes. Okay, so we got a seven hit here that kills this Slimer. Get out of here. Okay, let's go heal all one, damage all one. That was soothing. Everybody's alive. Okay, I definitely think I'm going to withhold the mana here. We're not really gaining anything for spending it other than killing one enemy that's not attacking. Well, that's actually not true. We could avoid even more damage here. Talk myself out of that one. <laughs> Sounds way over my head, Keller Tan. If you don't mind, I'll just roll the dice. Uh, out of curiosity, though, is there an average value that you were looking for for uh, tier heroes based on their dice? I mean, obviously not all heroes are equal, but I'm assuming that there was a... Calculation there. Ooh, this is kind of a, a tough fight. Four Sedules, two Shades, two Graves. Okay. Clumsy for the past three fights has been falling on their own uh, cantrips. All asterisks, heroes, or eagle. Okay. Okay. Equal being a very difficult term to define. I'd like to pick up cleave sites here. We did lose one cleave site on Dabbler, so it's only collector luck. Hmm. Duplicate on collector could be very interesting too, because it could take out the the Grey's opening round. Maybe some bones being summoned isn't the end of the world. With the graves in the middle here, the one bone's going to show up in between these two, and if we kill that bones, it does one damage to each grave. That's a pretty good value versus other attacks. So I think I might actually just hold off on trying to kill the graves this turn and get some other proactivity. Four damage, good. Hmm, saving, saving dabblers is looking difficult, but not impossible here. We heal and we block. We're just one away, huh? You know, a pretty nice spell here would be the balance. It would save the dabbler and do some significant chip. Let's load it up and see where we're at. Oh, we also have zap too. I forgot about that. Do I have a three hit right now? I do not. Hmm. Exactly two, not two or less. Oh, we just save two damage on Dabbler here if we do this. So I guess the place to start that's good because nobody's dying, and that's uh that's great. Alright, I'm gonna tap this grave with the poison because it's gonna tick down after this, and then when we kill the bones in the middle, it's gonna destroy the grave. For that reasoning, is this better? Mm. So we can take down a Grave Summoning of Bones. We can uh, hit Shades, which I think is what I'm going to do. Uh, or we could also 
take out one more Sedul this round. Hmm. Can't remove five damage that way. The Shades aren't doing the good attacks right now, but if we don't take care of the Shades, they get a little bit harder to kill. If we kill the top Sedul, which is doing the most damage, then we can drop next round and uh, bring that Shade really low. I think that's acceptable. Health being a resource and all. All right, Cleave's super good here. Okay, Sparky attack. We're looking at one-shotting a shade. That's very good. Dabbler is getting hit for seven right now. Well, if we lock in Cleric's three heart, three shield, that's only one. Looking savable. Who's hitting Dabbler right now? The shades. Hmm. I've already used the one side. Okay. Am I actually going to get... Mana here. Only if Evoker rolls this side, or we roll on Druid and Evoker. Uh... Okay, we got there. Oh, there's also the possi possibility for... Um... zap here on a shade i do know there's an ideas uh, channel in the slice of dice discord defamatory i'm rolling it Ooh, even better okay So my initial thought was, what if we go to three and then zap the shade, but why not just go all the way to eight? Except the one that's doing, oh, they're doing the same damage. Never mind. There's so much to keep track of. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to go drop this round because it pretty much guarantees we get this uh, circle off next round. Let's hit here and next turn we're set up for a really sick circle on Druid. Herbalist is saved if we just kill the shade here, so no point in even locking that. Probably winning this round, if not shortly afterwards. Oh yeah, that's the one. Alright, Rogue Pilgrim. Well, I'm definitely just valuing having raw damage here. With how many enemies are on screen, I think uh, damage is king. My initial feeling that raid mode is more or less a DPS race. You either remove sources of damage from the screen or people just die in mass. That's fair. How do I feel about that versus collector's other signs? 
I mean, it's two damage, but there's a lot of other sources of two damage. Leave would be better. All right, I'm going to toss that back. I think Sparky two mana damage is worth taking here. I, I love the idea of getting the, the mass overload on Sparky, but that's still a very good value. It's four damage in one dice. Poison good. All right, he's killing Berserker. You're killing Dabbler. It's definitely be possible to take down the Quartz. And probably this imp too. I'd like to just let this imp expire themselves. Just so much damage. Eight damage. Never mind. You're, you got to get out of here, bud. All right, let's load up. Hmm, where to begin? How many enemies are on screen? There are 10 enemies on screen. That means this is four mana for 10 damage. It is very diffused, but uh, it's still 10 damage. Let's just start here and see what happens. I do believe there's an even better play than this, but there's only <laughs> 8 HP left on the board. Nobody's dying, so good enough. All right, three. This looks good, too. Raid fight. All right, 11 out of 20 here on raid mode. Armor or Bard? I'm just such a huge fan of Bard. I've been playing uh, runs uh, with my wife uh, off stream. We just put the uh, put the game up on airplay on uh, on the television and just kind of talk through it. And we keep taking Bard and it keeps being awesome. Yeah, Scimitar. We're currently playing raid mode, which is double enemies, but also double heroes. And then uh, no item drops in between rounds, only level up. Yeah, for sure, Ryan. Uh, you're right. The bard's better in raid mode because it gets more value out of the uh, shield all. Up to 10 block for one, one dice side is very good. Take a look at the targeting pips here. Okay, so bottom, bottom sniper and militia are attacking druid. Both top snipers are on collector. Fanatic on Sparky. This is going to be extremely tough to have everybody live. We might be taking a concession on this round, but I think dropping the first sniper to save collector is reasonable, and maybe shielding on militia is good. Also, with this side on Collector, we don't technically have to do uh, the drop here. So that just free up some potential. What sides are going to save Druid outright without a kill? The three shield, three heal would do it. We could also just take the two shields right now and say we're going to block here. To make the militia flee. Oh, that's also true that else, which does shield one cleanse for a blank site, is very good on raid mode. True. Seems like Bard's gonna come up clutch again. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw these back. Okay, this is good. Okay, 
I'm seeing a way to save everybody, but save everybody and have a productive turn, not so much. I'm going to throw back Herbalist here. Three dices that can be mana. Okay. Well, everybody's going to live. That's nice. We only had a two mana pull that round. Wow. Pretty brutal, man. I can't even cast Burst. Well, what I want to do is have the Militia flee like this. But if I do that, it appears that Sparky might die. No, he won't, because we have else. Okay, we're clear. You know, I'm hit the fanatic here for four and one. Just drop this unit off the board. I'm also gonna use my two damage hit on not militia. I dub the adequate. Okay, that's that's big. That's big. Because right now we can uh, kill militia with one, leave, and then we're into the sniper. So this looks really scary. I believe we're gonna be fine. Here, let's take out the militia. Let's hit him with the tap tap. Let's go for burst. Oh, there it is. He's gonna run. Later, Tater. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Yikes. Yikes. I'm kind of liking Ghast here. I think Ghast is kind of a win more, and we're already ahead on heroes, and the amount of dice gives a lot of flexibility. Two weekends, definitely not bad, but I, I'm scared right now. I think it has to be a turn one goal here to kill one of the Wendigos. Like, if we don't do that, we're going to be in serious trouble. Also, Brawler right now with the steel side could be the could be the engine for killing the boss on turn one. I think we're gonna go for gas though, because mana is more flexible. And if we choose to go Brawler, uh, it's hard to activate the Rampage this round. And I don't know. I think Brawler is really, really good. But I think for the current fight we're on, which looks terrifying, Gast is the man for the job. Okay, only one character dying right now is awesome. Oh boy. You guys just done did that, didn't ya? Go ahead and lock these in because thorns. What's Dabbler got? One's heart on Herbalist is not the worst either. Oh, right. Abilities don't work on thorns. Hmm. True. That's a good question. Are we both being controlled by that? Or are there two separate controls? Yes, it looks like only the collector is possessed here, and this would be a good one to take for that. 
well, that's good. At least two of the ten characters aren't mind controlled. That would have been um, difficult. Just trying to imagine this scenario right now where I'm actually clearing uh, Wendigo and Thorns. I think in order to clear a boss on this round, which is, I think, my primary goal, so if we clear this one, clear it, get saved, I need to roll for as many monocides as possible. Like, I toss this back, even though it could be nice to have. All right, cool, cool. Definitely not nothing. Okay. Everybody's alive on this turn one. We do have to choose to hit somebody uh, with this hit. You know what might actually be even better here? Is if I hit for one and then I go for harvest instead of zap. Because it gives me plus three mana. We're trading one damage for three mana there, essentially. He finds one damage or one heal. Light shield one cleanse. Who is getting targeted here? Okay, so Sparky is getting super petrified on this if I don't hit something. Sparky is at four petrify. Collector is only getting two Petrify, though the Collector getting Petrify is to our benefit while the boss is still active. I feel like it's okay for Sparky to get Petrified because he's essentially already done his job. He's uh, slammed the one boss. If I use else here, is it clear completely? Not quite. Not quite. Okay, is immune, that's what I thought. Hmm. The heal looks tempting too, but I, I just, I don't think it's worth it. I think we're just going to burst here. Alright, we're going to use this on Berserker. Who's getting else? Let's go ahead and give else to Sparky. He's got three sides petrified instead of four. Alright. All right. Kind of want to lock this and see where we're at. Bard's getting slammed here. I guess if he hits somebody with a thorn, it's not the end of the world. Um, that's good. Duplicate possessed is actually kind of funny. Not necessarily bad, though. We can use this last to, to save it. All right, we have a distinct lack of things that hit hit the thorns. We can definitely take out Wendigo here, though. I think if we take out the boss and maybe hit one of the thorns, we could make the thorns flee because we have so much health. Doesn't seem unreasonable. Let's start with this, though, and see what's up. Oh, he's no longer possessed? Awesome. Okay, in that case, we're absolutely going to do this. Yeah, uh, I think Bard's just not uh, not meant to survive this opening combat. That's just uh, catching is the thorn damage catching up with them later on. No problem. Well.
All right, now can we roll some functional hits that can actually work here? If we block, yes. It's two block by itself, so it's going to kill one. Okay, great. Yeah, that's awesome on gas. I think that's the game right there. All right, so if we heal on Rogue and then burst, they have more than five, so we can hit the Thorn. And we block on Collector and hit here. Nice. The only one character dying there is pretty nice. Uh, double Hydra, that's uh, that's tough for them. I could see Wanderer being incredible. Uh, one, their shields can pick up cantrips. And two, the longer the fight goes on, the stronger they get. And if there's a really crazy round where they're getting absolutely hammered, this could be like 18, 20 damage or something like that. Let's go. Hydra there, that's great. Okay, there's Sparky. That probably nukes a ghost. Oh, if I just take this right now, can I kill a ghost and a Hydra? It sure looks like it. That'd be a good enough turn for me. Okay, yes it can. So I can reroll some stuff here. A yes, yes. We had an extra burst withheld. So that means we can throw back this cantrip as well. Poison's good. I guess it doesn't matter really. Drop drop this on the ghost just to have the pip expire. Okay. Boop. That's uh four hits for the Hydra. Five. Eccentric or Wizard? Hmm. I'm actually random here. I, I like Sparky's function here a lot. Uh, eccentric is... Without items, not so good. Stoic. Fantastic. Wanderers being hit for five, so the Brass Knuckles side would be slightly better than that. Oof. Four alphas, two cause. That is definitely uh, a happening. Look at targeting here real quick. So bottom two alphas are on the gas that's dying. Top alpha and the caw are on Sparky. All right, Stoic can just save one of the characters outright, and Gas is only one block away from being saved, so I think that's uh, effective enough. I'm rolling. There we go. Two damage on Rogue. Oh, let's roll for cantrips. All 
All right, looking good. I can't kill a Kaw here with the Brass Knuckles and Balance. Also reasonably take out one of these Alphas, but I feel like the Kaws are kind of the bigger damagers. The Alphas are annoying because they can summon. And I feel like if I need to, I can probably take out an individual Alpha. If I had to. For the first time each turn, move back this turn. So it comes back to the front row. All right. So if I go six here, and then I go four here, and then I balance, it kills that Kaw, and it sets this one up to zap next turn. All right, this stops more overall damage, including saving the Druid. Let's hit the lowest health alpha. And who does Wanderer want to pull damage off of? Probably Druid. I could definitely see balance being useful later in this fight. I see now that I did not add growth to anybody's dice. Let's back this up real quick. Add growth to Sparky. Adequate. Okay, two wolves being summoned. One of them by the lower health alpha. That's helpful. I rolled Sparky again. That's dope. Four damage is great. Two mana, two mana, two damage, three damage. at six there? Okay, hold on. This is good. Hit for six here, and then we can harvest, and then we can zap. I think we're actually killing this alpha as well. Awesome. Alright, everybody lives. No wolves being summoned. That's a huge success for this turn. Here is so good. All right, nasty fight, but we lived. Ooh, that's a lot of ogre, man. Wow. Not opposed to Barbarian. Like, even the 10 damage uh, death side looks pretty nice. Rampage and Bloodlust is also crazy good here for a damage boost. There's so many enemies. We can do the balance spell and do a huge damage hit. I would take out uh, one of the ogres here. Alright, Sparky, yes. Hey, hey, look at that. Wanderer getting hit for 17 damage. All right, bud. All right. Oh, yeah, you betcha. I think I should actually take the 10 damage death on Barbarian here just to eliminate one of the ogres because uh, these two ogres, or actually these four ogres, are all doing 30 damage to the board each. Killing more chiefs is also an effective removal of damage. It's actually more effective than removing the ogres here. Punching the top ogre above the bandit will make the top bandit flee. And I bet if we get a good sparky set up, we can also make the bottom bandit flee. Let's just see what this looks like right now. 
I think we can set this up to uh, look all right. Okay, so we got five here. So if we do two and two, oh, right. Still need another damage side to pull this off. the side I wanted, but it'll work. Yeah, that's six damage. That's a war chief right there. Awesome. I'll take the stoic hand here. We'll see what's up at the end of this round. Okay. So Stoic doesn't actually need to save anybody. Let's throw back Stoic and Rogue. Sounds great. Awesome turn. Wow. It was, uh, I think, very legitimately worried here, and it turned out okay. No. Nah. All right, so we'll weaken this ogre. We'll uh, stun this one. Hmm. I guess if he's weakened, we can go burst here. Yep, it's still still negative. Very good then. Awesome turn. Looking pretty aces right now. Okay, here we go. There's 10 damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Assassin or Sorcerer? I do like Sorcerer. Uh, Miasma's a really nice spell to have access to. Oh my god, double Basalt. There's a nightmarish thought I just never even uh, considered. There is a lot of possible weaken on this build. Or on this fight. I feel like Sparky's big damage chunk is better than uh, Sorcerer right now. So Assassin's a better chance at getting the quartz down. Okay, summoning one late. I'd prefer not. Okay, we got the Sparky hit. Nice. We did get weak in here, which I'm going to use on Basalt to stop Slate from being summoned for sure. If I can get the Barbarian Bloodlust, that could be something. Hmm, tough. Stun could also be very decent. I'm going to throw back Stoic, even though the two damage is pretty tempting. Yeah, I think I can do better on Barbarian too. Good luck to me. That's good. Only on two mana right now. Ooh. We did lose Dabble, that's true. We're not taking it on Ghast either, so it's only going to be two damage if I don't throw it back. Um. Yeah, I think i got to keep Druid here. Having Barbarian sacrifice himself is not uh, out of the question. 
I'm not gonna take the hand on Stoic too, because I'm not I'm not convinced that we're gonna be surviving. Okay, six damage is a bit much. Okay, so we're gonna go for four damage right here, and then we're gonna go for take it back. We'll go for weaken stop here. Four damage right here. Five here. <laughs> All right, six outright stops the stops that. Okay. Oh, we have four mana. I mis misunderstood. Okay, so with four mana, I can hit here, and then we can do chip. We've officially stopped all of the weekend incoming. That is awesome. So Basal goes, uh, the first time you do one damage is two, first time you do two it's three, first time you do three it's four, so on and so forth. So let's get the two procced here, and the two procced here. Huh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Plan. I do believe that's it. I like that because we're removing all of the courts and we didn't get weakened at all outside of the thing that Basal did. All right, so a slate is going to be summoned here. It's just a foregone conclusion. We might as well just try to escalate damage on one of these uh, sides. Do I have a spell that can do three damage? I do not. Do I have a dice that can do three damage right now? Okay, Druid's, uh, Fear. Wanderer's past three right now. Sparky's side could if we managed our mana properly. Uh, Bloodlust? That was also at four right now. So we don't really have a three. That's okay. I'd like to get poison here. Are you just out of the game right now? You are out of the game. Lock it in. They're sparky. Don't have a one mana hit, so I can't get the three here like I want. Mmm. All right, I'm just going to have to concede we're not getting three. All right, that's us for now. Oh, look, I can block all the damage on Barbarian. Even better. Yo, serious. Thanks for 33 months. Appreciate the continuation and real deal. Thanks for 76. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, this is especially scary with the slates being summoned again. This, this could be a catastrophic failure for sure. Bloodlust does improve our ability to kill one of the basalts, so this is not... I wouldn't say it's critical yet, but it's, it's, uh, it's approaching it. I think we, at the very least, have to take out this basalt this round to be standing a chance here. Poison's probably not the worst take.
Okay, that's two potentially. Three block isn't uh, isn't inefficient. I'm rolling again though. Damage, please. That is better. Okay, let's think through this. Now, there is the play where I can get the slate down to 1 HP and then use Harvest on it. So I think it may be a good beginnings here is just to use the, the balance to hit everybody for one. That brings us to six damage here. So we'll try that. Go two. Oh, right. Just not quite enough. Dang, so we're going to be dealing with multiple slates. Yeah, fair enough. What if... We just kind of split the difference here. It's definitely not awesome, but it's not any worse off than we were. Okay. Uh, this is raid mode, uh, Slevin. So it's 10 characters, but uh, also double enemies and uh, no item rewards in between uh, rounds. Okay, well, thank goodness we can at least stop the this from being summoned. Also, we have three now and two. And five. Is there a four on board somewhere we can get in here? Barky's done. Barbarian has a foresight. I'm sure stun is great here. I'd say it's probably gas best sight. Even if we drop the basalt this round, which is now looking uh, pretty likely, then we still have the ability to weaken this one and maybe stun this one, sacrificing only herbalist. Yep, Cruel can do four here. That's right. That's right. Good call. i take that. Okay, looks like a pretty good round. So we got three, and we have four. Okay, Basalt's down. Let's go for uh, two poison here. Five hit. All right, time to time to work some magic here. Let's stop this one here. Every for two. Oh, that kills him out, right? Fair. So I have four left over after that. Does that mean I can afford to cast balance right now? I mean, nobody died. Nobody died. How much HP does Stoic have right now? 13. 
I'm going to go like this, but yes, there is the possibility of stunning the boss. We'd have to sacrifice all that damage on the slate, and I don't think that's uh, feasible at the moment. Stunning the boss on this round forever. Definitely possible. In fact, killing the boss this round is looking... Looking decent. Just see where we're at with this. Okay, so we're on three. We don't currently have a three. I don't think we need it. Let's just hit for seven. And then here. All right. All right. And definitely save the gas here as well. So we're going to throw back. Gas, druid. Gas and druid, that's it. Druid was the heart. I just threw back Herbalist too, that's fine. You don't need to die about it, okay, Gas? You don't need to. Sweet, man. Let's give that to Barbarian. Oh boy, that's a lot of incoming damage. Wow. Uh, I don't mind the idea of poisoning all the enemies, but... I don't want to give up Druid here. Cleric's been doing okay. I think Keeper's also nice with the Repel. Uh, that should be should be pretty all right. The overlap on enemies attacking uh, certain heroes is pretty high in raid mode. It feels like <laughs> rogues right now is getting hit by three at least. Looks like stoic up toss getting quad hit here too. Dang. Okay, bloodlust has potential to just one shot something. Four damage, cruel, probably not wrong. That kills a zombie. Two mana gas seems nice. I'm gonna roll it. Uh, how much is Wander being hit for? None. Well, that kind of makes three damage his best side right now. Mercy. That was pretty merciful. Hitting Sparky. You're hitting Sparky for two, so if we remove you... That's good. Oh, also, we have four mana here. Let's load it up. Let's hit uh, this zombie for four. Then we're going to cast Balance. Okay, we have 11 damage on the Bloodlust right now. That does mean if we we cast um, Balance before we use the Sparky thing, which would bring us back down to zero damage, we'd be able to one-shot a Fanatic. So we'll keep that idea in our back pocket for a minute. And absolutely nothing wrong with just removing zombies here too. Onto something with this. Let's go ahead and go here and then cast balance first, bringing us to 12 damage, which will outright remove one of the fanatics. Let's try this one first. Hmm. 
I don't know. Seems like we're going to concede losing a hero either way, and I don't like the idea of leaving this 4 damage behind, especially since it's direct removal at the moment. Okay, that saves Keeper. Considering what it feels like if we just save the uh, save the rogue here. Okay, let's give this a try real fast. Is it? Oh, oh. There it is. Nobody dies. Everybody lives. Just real injured though. Fanatics just pump out so much damage so fast. Tough enemy. Okay, that kills a zombie. Are these both snipers both attacking the same target? That kills both snipers. Awesome. Uh, I'm just going to take the hand here on Stoic to make sure Keeper lives so I can simplify the rest of my decision making here. Weakens good. All right, let's uh, remove a zombie. Let's block on Sparky. Both snipers are out. Pull that onto Stoic. All right, he's exhausting himself on the uh, the Wanderer. So we can hit uh, here. Stop the poison. That is game. Wow, Dancer is like pretty brutal because they can do a rampage damage all. Means they can use it again if a uh, enemy is killed. It's very flexible with 10 enemies. Bait is also quite nice. Especially with heal to spell rescue. I mean, that's um, not nothing with 10 characters. You can easily get 8, 10 value out of the, uh, the spell. Even then, I believe Dancer is what I want. The, the idea of that rampage hit all seems very good at the moment. Well, that's a lot of damage incoming, man. Calm down with that. Well, we have a 10 damage death on Barbarian, and we also have the 5 mana death on on Ghast. I'm going to take these two at least. We can get a stun out and a very nice set of damage, probably on Wanderer here. Not bad on Herbalist either. Yeah, this is raid mode, which is double characters, but also uh, double enemies and no items in between rounds. Huh. Well, if Barbarian's not dying this round, I don't think the death side is so desirable. I don't think I want to do this either. Sparky's good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wanderer is getting a nine damage punch and stuff right here. Let's go. There's the damage all rampage. That should be awesome. Ooh, I can give the rampage growth here. Oh, man. I think we might be setting up for a spicy round.
Well, to begin, let's hit a demon, because we have to get through these white pips with uh, dice. The only way. Okay, this is how much damage? Eight. Basilisk is on ten. So if I hit, um, actually, if I hit here, we're gonna do one damage and a self damage. Oh, it hits the basilisk and gets uh, petrified. <laughs> well, that's fair. There was an idea there, and it was a good one though. Okay, so with that, we'll throw back uh, dancer and herbalist. Good enough. take out the banshees but i think taking out the the demons is also like really really good Uh, I think that's a very adequate turn. We remove both demons, so no M's going to be summoned. No pain on the next round for our characters either. All right, nobody's uh, full health anymore. This is less good. Oh, that's nice on orange. Mana's good. Weakens good. Hands also probably nice for pulling poison off of somebody. Let's go for damages now. We can just take out both Banshees this round. I think we're in a pretty good place. Dancer dodging here is actually kind of sick. Fair enough. Oh, he's still dead to poison. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, with no way to heal this, there's not really a good way to do it. I guess we could try vining instead. that kill keeper okay I see I see mm. 
We still die into poison here. I don't think we're stopping the poison death. That's the feeling I'm getting. I'm not going to fuss this too much. I think this is uh, acceptable. Very tough fight. This is kind of nice as a contingency. That's a lot of damage, though. Wow. Give me that. Should be good here, then. Go here, and then we'll kill the other Basilisk. Looks like everybody's dead here. Alright, 19 of 20. Ooh, profits. Profit's a little bit exciting here because it has the heal one to all allies uh, regenerate. That's a super nice in a longer boss fight. If a boss fight goes long. Artificer is also good because the same Sparky side. They have two damage to all for four. Uh, I'm pretty tempted to not take Artificer just because Sparky has been working so well in the opening round of combat. And taking out one enemy with one hero is a very desirable effect. I think Profit's pretty slamming. That's five mana for 20 heal on the one round, and then 10 more heal every round that every hero survives. All right, this is definitely a spicy opening. Assassin's getting blasted, Dancer's getting blasted. That's good damage right there. The most overlap on Stoic right now. Bloodlust seems like it should be really good, especially if we we're able to cast Balance this round. This straight up saves somebody, but uh, I want to roll for the Monocide. Okay, Monocide then. At least we're getting Balance Bloodlust off. Okay, that's also good. Mercy. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to use this first. I think I'm going to come back for that, but it does activate the, the bloodlust. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's heal Keeper real quick. Because now we can hit this Caw for six. And Dancer can Rampage this. Okay, perfect. Hit for five here too, then we can hit for one. Hit for one again. The important thing here is we've hit the Hydras three times each. Any overlap on the Hydras here? There is overlap on the Stoic, so we could go here and then balance. Oh yeah, this is game right there. Boom. Oh my god, enough imps there, Hexia? Double Hexia? Oh my god. Is this happening to me right now? Kill an ally, then heal five to all allies. Okay, so Hexia does on hit, attacker takes equal damage to me. Whenever you use an ability, it damages the bottom hero equal to cost. That's tough. I think what we gotta do is clear the imps and potentially get a couple sues off on the profit to have a chance here. Yeah, cantrip dodge is good. I wish I had some resurrection heroes or death to fight heroes. I'm gonna take Wraith here. Druid's been awesome, but 
and the awesomeness kind of stops here. We can't cast spells the way we want. I would prefer my characters and die on the opening round. Just a preference. Let's fish for the weak inside on that. Wanderer not being hit is kind of weird. That's good. That kills an imp. Uh... Okay, this does save Dancer. This saves like Sparky. Rolling again. All right, we did get weakened, which is nice because we can stop a demon from being summoned, which is a pretty desirable effect here. Not against sacrificing the Barbarian here either. Like, uh, I guess this saves Sparky. Let's try this real quick. Dodge here. Block on Profit instead. Two damage. Two damage. He's hitting for eight, so I actually live better if I hit like this. I think uh, allowing myself to persist for another round is a great idea. Kills gassed, huh? That's tough. Oh, because it doubles down. All right. I see. I will hold then. You only get caught up here. Real deal. Thanks for 76 months. Contrati, thanks for 87. Awesome broccoli, dude. And Nutgirdle, thanks so much for 62 months. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, 10 damage death looks very fine here. I need the can I need the dodge on Wraith. Big time. I think Ghast is dying here. Okay, that's probably okay. This kills Dancer if we use it because they hit every imp. We return damage on everyone. That's tough. Okay, so if I healed here, how would I do it? I got pain on this, so I can get just max HP on that. That's it. Oh boy. It's a tough roll. Okay, I suppose if we hit this M for two, it does stop Profit from dying, right? But we still have pain applied to that side. I feel like in order to make this work, I need to... Try to save the ghast, or the wraith, rather. What does it look like if I do this? Can I stun? Not quite. What if we do... Wrong one. Almost a stunnable range here. Wow. That's definitely not worth.
Healing everybody up here with Leech is, is seeming like a really good play. It's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I just wish that um, Gas could live through it. Does outright kill Dancer, yep. Oh, it's also getting return damage on Hexia. That's super brutal. So is Leech or Soothe better here is now the question. The hero I really need saved here is Wraith. So does this save Wraith? It does, barely. Okay, what if I go like... Leech here and then use the overheal just to keep him alive this round. Sue's gonna do eight damage. Too much. I need the need the dodge before I can cast Soothe. Can I get away with burst here? No, there's not enough health left. What if I do this? Then can I get away with burst? Nope, six is still too much. I think this is the closest approximation we're going to get. And I do seriously wonder if I'm supposed to uh, just throw the Barbarian away here. Kind of feels like the answer is yes. Yo, awesome, Twin. That sounds awesome, dude. Cool run. Okay, that's a thunker. 10 damage is a lot of damage here. Like, maybe we can get one of the Hexias down next round if we do that. Nah. I'm going for it. All right, so now we, we want Wraith to roll into the dodge side with the cantrip. That way we can actually hit here effectively. Good. Fine on Dancer, actually best on Dancer. Yeah, is this side, uh, oh, it's petrified, so we're just never going to get that. Fair enough. Is go time. Okay, four damage here. Four damage here. Bloodlust block sounds awesome. What does this do? Heal three rescue? Anybody rescuable here at the start? No, just dancer. <laughs> I mean, okay. Okay. Demons incoming. We may be able to DPS down one of the Hexias next round. It's possible. Mm -hmm. 
damage, damage. This healing could save somebody. Not quite. Should we hit with Sparky? We can maybe save there. Hmm. Not unless we hit for less. We can save Barbarian after his attack. Okay, two, two here is good. Take this block. Yeah, that's the turn, huh? Oh, he dies? Right, because return damage. Why is that doing so much? Oh, it's also pain. Right, right. Yeah, this is looking pretty grim and also quite fair. Uh, my takeaway from this is that on raid mode, I would like to have... Heroes that can resurrect or do death defy. We don't have either of those right now. All right, then if Prophet's dying anyways, we should probably leech here. Okay. Good luck to me. Too much petrify, man. If I can keep Wanderer from being petrified, there's kind of a chances here. Okay, that's going to kill Hexia. Sure, damage is damage right now. Oh, that two poison I should not have rolled past. Seven damage is fantastic. Okay, who are you petrifying? Dancer is not the worst target for petrification, though we can potentially dodge it. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. I think we're just dealing with the the demon here. We gotta rush Hexia, otherwise we're done. But I don't want to fight more demons. It's all summon rounds. So we got a chance to. Do something here. Okay, if I leech somebody, I can probably stun with Stoic if we have, like, an optimal set here. If not, we can definitely stun the demon to stop one of these summons. This will require leeching, though. Dang. Um, okay, you have a two mana side. You're basically done. You're also basically done. I think we're going to sack Dancer here. Yeah, we're going to leech Dancer. I think bursting is worth it here. Now that we're not taking the double reverse damage. Come on, Wanderer. Clutch it. Okay, Stunning Hexia is within range here. Imps getting summoned is brutal, but I mean, we're here. Okay, that's damage. Come on, Wanderer. You can do it. Okay, no big sight on Wanderer here. No reasonable. I th think we have to do it this way. If we don't stun Hexia, we're going to get even more petrified. It just gets worse and worse from there.
All right, that's the turn. All right, stun's great. Mm. Two damage side is much better. Yes. Okay, Hexia's down. Oh, I really need this two mana right now. Uh oh. All right. Well, if we uh, kill Hexia here, what's going on after that? Just Wraith dying, which is the demon, who is currently unstunnable. Losing Wraith means we won't be able to leech, which is, uh, I think, a huge problem. What if we split the difference? We go here, and then we stun Demon. Hit Hexia. At least Sparky, Keeper, Wraith. Not going to be enough. I think we have to drop Wraith here and hope for the best. We can still stun the demon that's summoning the imp, at least. Ooh, not quite even? Okay. The best we're going to do. So what I need now is Wanderer to come in clutch with these era hits so I can just uh, take out the demons. That's what I need. Okay, two poisons right. Uh, I think this is Keeper's only side, indeed. Yo, there we go, 11 damage. Alright. I think we go 11 here, and 2 here. Then we block, and I'll block for Assassin too. Okay, now stop summoning imps, please. Okay, there's the other demon. So we're like kind of in the game here. Stoic can take the damage from Wanderer in this case, just to have him live longer. Um, also, this is Keeper's only side. Come on, dice. That's great. Okay, demon's down. Um, Sparky's gonna die to this hit, but he's dying anyways. So let's make sure that he's helping somebody out here. Who needs the most help? What's the best out? The best out is probably Wanderer. We hit the imp. Oh, we can't zap after that. <laughs> That's brutal, man. Brutal, but fair. Here's what I can do. I can block... Uh, this damage here. Keep him alive so I can use the zap spell. Then I can assassinate the imp that is poisoning my main damage character. And we can block on Stoic so he has one more round alive after this. Yes. Yes. Wow. We did it. Woo. Raid victory. Unlocks a mode right on. Dude, that was really fun. All right, so we unlocked modes here. What's this? Oh, okay, so it's just a folder. You can have all of the, the stuff in. That makes sense. Cool folder, man. That was pretty spicy. I'm going to take a short break here. It's going to stand a stretch real fast. Use the restroom. Grab some water. Be back in just a minute for... Uh, Whatever may come next. Let's want to cool off after that very intense fight. That was awesome.
No, righty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience. Do appreciate it. Mm, dice appear. Okay. Neat. What cool modes are loot, generate, alternate, shortcut. I don't know, let's do let's do a loop on uh let's do a loop on blur steer. Where are we at right now? Oh yeah, we got the anti-climax uh, add barrel. The add barrel was really bad though, so we're gonna reset this one. All right, let's try basic here. It's very hard to argue with bone math. And I mean, also uh, latent. Yeah, let's take latent bone math here. So we have three regeneration, three poison, and then every time we kill an enemy, it does one damage to the uh, the enemy of the site. Or spirits also very powerful, especially for boss fight. And versatile is also nice, but I think Layton is probably the best tier one. On Blurst mode, you get tier three spells between your loops, and uh, getting poison immunity basically just makes us three regeneration. And to put that in perspective, two hero regeneration is a ten, uh, ten blessing. So you can really escalate that by taking a three and a one. I think bone math is going to make the first loop here pretty cozy. Or not. Hey there, Great Rain. What's good? do renew set a hero to 4 HP or knight with carry I'm gonna take the knight here the three damage hit is nice and also you can choose a use a three damage uh, pip to generate shield three as well carry is pretty nice This takes out the archer at least, which saves the dabble. Seems fair. Just withhold that monix. We don't need to use it. Do 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 do. Uh, that kills ruffian, so probably not. I guess with a burst, it does not kill ruffian. Take it. Oh yeah, this fight's over. Clumsy shoe, wolf ear. Let's take the wolf ears here. This sets the max HP to six. That's bad later, but right now it's plus two HP on Ruffian. We're in blurst mode now, Silver Shot. We started a brand new run here. We have Latent, which is three regeneration, three poison on all characters, and Bone Man. Low math is one damage to each adjacent character. Well, this is kind of a bum start here. That's okay. Those wolf ears coming in useful already. Yo, Dracarnius, thanks for 30 months. Appreciate that 3 0. And Wagner, thanks for 95. Five more for that 100 club. Thank you. That's good. Yep, that's right. We just got to find the Poison Immune 3, which is not all that unlikely.
Big fan of Jester. Flick's a nice spell. Alright, so we're fighting Bramble, which is all heroes add single use to all sides. Oh, hey, let's get zoom back in here. We go out one. There we go. Three mana good. Damage good. I'll take this too. Cleanse is great. Re cleanse that poison. B stands for blurs. Click and hit. Pre cleanse that poison, and I'm just gonna hold here. You're next, Bramble. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in on the damage here. Blurs to start with six blessing and then take one tier one curse after each boss. Then you take a new three blessing at the start of each loop. Keep unused shields. Replace middle side with shield three bloodline. Uh, middle side shield three bloodlust looks great on knight or dabbler. Probably dabble. I feel like the bloodlust shield can have use even late game. Wow. Tough set of opening curses here, man. Rightmost blank or monster left plus one? Well, rightmost blank is... It's a little bit early to be getting started on that, but okay. Right now, we don't really have rightmost sides, so it's not hurting anything. Not yet. Okay, all heroes are taking two damage right now. I'm just going to fish for block because the blind will run if nobody's attacked. That's fine. So we'll use a parry here on, say, ruffians so they can keep their five attack uh, dream alive. Then nobody attacks. Five heal seems fun. There we go. Our plan paid off. Oh, sweet. Yeah, the rightmost uh, stasis gets a little bit more annoying. But not too bad, in my experience. Rightmost is pretty inoffensive. Mostly items uh, put things in the rightmost slot. I mean, dabble, dabbler, dabbleist? I don't mind if I do. I also dib a dabble from time to time. Reheal Vitality isn't shabby. I think we can just do better, man. We can do better. No. That stops a quartz outright. Awesome. Oh, we have this fight one right now. On board. Later, Tata. Enchanted Shield at the start of each turn. Cell Shield 1. Blood Chalice. Cell Shield for 1. For each wasted point of healing I receive. Well, I like Enchanted Shield better because it gives block guaranteed. This requires overhealing. Put that on uh, Ruffian as well. Because he's the one that has the pain side. Alright. Two damage. Dabbler does have a three damage side. But that's um a good roll. Damage again, maybe parry. Yeah, if I roll a decent damage here, it would have been nicer. He's 
doing four damage to three. What if I go flick? Hits. Hits. Everybody lives. I think I have to go for that. Okay, this turn, nobody's dying, so that's, uh, simplified. I have gotta throw back Ruffy in here for a better damage side. Alright, with nobody dying, I might as well... Set this barrel up to explode next round. We're currently uh, playing Blurse mode. We just started a new run. Let me just see this real fast. Uh, if we heal here and then flick here... That's a lot better than I thought it was. Nobody dies, huh? So let's throw back. We already have the mana for the flick, so we'll throw back these three. You can do better. Or not. No pressure. Oh, hey. Awesome. That's just simple bone math, guys. They all die. Our blessings for this uh, Blurst run. Uh, we took Layton, which is all heroes start with three Regin. All heroes start Poison for three. So nothing right now, but as soon as we get Poison Immunity, which is a tier three blessing, uh, we have access to three regeneration. And we have bone math. All monsters, one damage to adjacent allies on death. Rightmost blank only curse right now. You know, Ruffian with the Wolf Ears is doing such a nice job. I, I hesitate to replace him. Though stun is very big for this fight. Big fan of Druid, too. Huge fan, in fact. Big Brood here. You may benefiting from Wolf Ears, the Acolyte is. Self shield on. Yes, sir. It's a good thing to find first roll, especially that clunker of a roll that was. Oh boy. Yikes. That is a really bad start. And admittedly a bit greedy by me, so we're gonna go for the hit on Gaita here. Or not. We're gonna opt for the hit on Margaret here. Woo! Oh, this is quite grim. We can parry to save the knight here with that one die. So let's just roll, see if you like a lucky stun. Three damage, good. I'd like to get at least a flick in, but... Take that, actually. Fair enough, glad I did. for one. Weaken for one's also concerning. 
we can um we can kill Gaita here, but it's also gonna kill the knight, which is unfortunate. But we also cannot kill the wolf and Agnes. So there's really not a way to save the knight. I think I would definitely rather remove the character that's weakening this round if we're gonna lose one at all. Also this right here. Hmm. There's a tertiary option here, which is this. Does not save the knight and three characters get weakened, but a lot less damage on brute. No poison on brute is nice. I feel like weakens the most detrimental to our next round. Oh, hey, there's even better. I don't know how I missed this, but I did. That's best. Oh, sweet, we got stun here, so we can stun uh, Agnes No Summon next round. Awesome. This all looks good, in fact. All right, sweet. Uh, that was might and frighten for a moment. Flick to death. Add single use and cantrip to all mana gain sides. Fine with that. And growth to the left side. Also fine with that. I'm going to cantrip up Jester because we almost always roll on him anyways. Now nah, let's give the Brute the shield here. Okay, Affliction must be equipped at pain to the two left sides. Okay. It's not unacceptable. I'd prefer not to be removing item slots this early, but in comparison to Big Hitter 9, it's a tough curse. All right, I'm gonna take Big Hitter 9. Doubles the pips of attacks uh, from monsters if they have nine or more pips. So that's like Dangerous on Dragon goes from 15 damage to 30 damage. That's pretty spoopy. We got like a classic bone mass situation going on here. Okay, so if we flick this illusion, what happens? The grave goes down too. All right. So then if we hit this for three, then we hit this illusion. Bone mass. Easy. I like Herbalist more than I like Acolyte. I really like Fae, but the last like three or four times I've taken Fae, I just feel like they haven't added enough to the composition. Like, if you already have a lot of other damage sources, Fae becomes a lot better. But if you're lacking damage, Fae at most is adding one damage here. What is a flexible damage on boost and weaken is very nice. It's tough. 
Herbalist spell is also S tier, one damage on demand. Well, oh, I had to the carrier with that. Okay. Yep, after this turn, two minutes, no problem. Excuse me, guys, for just a minute here. Help my wife with something. All right, we're back. Thanks so much for your patience there. Ooh, that's a really nice block to get right now. Thanks, Knight. Debating what's most efficient here. I guess removing the poison's probably a good start. We can also remove the poison to start working on somebody else. Go for the kill next round. Let's do that. Alright, everybody lives. We only need to do 2 HP next round. Looks good. 1 HP next round. He's probably going to run after all of this effect goes through. Yeah. Ooh. Add underdog to the bottom side. Two times versus targets with more HP than me. 
bag of holding, plus two item slots, plus two max HP. Ever take bag of holding here? I like anything that gives plus max HP, more survivability. I think it's actually okay on Herbalist right now, especially as we rolled the three mana contract. Taking a Sedul out this round would be pretty awesome. See what happens here. This looks pretty good. Then I can uh, burst and hit here and stun this son of a gun. That's a great round. Go. So I love Agent. I think Agent is like one of the S tier characters in this game. It's got randomized keywords and the quad use is super useful as well. But right now, if I take uh, I take this, I'm going to have to use my own dice against myself. And we're looking at quad damage, pain, and shifter random keywords. This could just be completely devastating. So for that reason, I'm going to take Knight here. But I think I'm going to miss this three damage attack on Knight quite a bit. I think for this particular fight, that is too much to ask. Okay, we'll put the block on him. Yep. Bruce the one taken, but if we took... Um, I'm pretty sure if we took the character there, it would have reverted over here. The reason Dabbler is not taken is because they have a mono side, and Agent does not have a mono side. So I believe... Uh, that would have changed over. Well, I'm not sure on that one. The targeting might be set from the start of the fight as a possibility. Okay, stun's the best side to roll because we can use it last to uh, no downside. Wow, dude. Um, cool. There's not actually a hit I can do to stop these thorns from hitting. I can hit with the dabble, but I don't have a secondary shot on that. Okay, that's good. Ish. Is there some way I could maybe stun Wendigo here? Uh, maybe not impossible. Looking less possible now. Can't stun because it's not not that anyways. Okay, well. Uh with that being said, I'm gonna hit the thorn here. After blocking. I'm gonna go for a flick first. Dabble is my only chance to save this. Take that. Hey, sit back, relax, enjoy. Great rain. Happy to have you. All right, block side is inoffensive. Uh, I'm going to take this. It's the best block I have. Okay, dabble rolling a damage side here is actually huge. Huh. 
Since Poet has no damage, maybe I should be blocking on Dabbler instead. I think that's true. Jester has a couple sides left, but they're single use, so we're going to need the damage on Dabbler and Jester to finish this out. All right, that's not killing Brood. I think we're in the clear here. Can you please not roll that again? Thanks. A little better. Okay, we're one mana off or one damage off from getting the kill. This does save Dabbler, so I'm taking it. Okay, there it is. We got him. Dang, that was a tough fight. Yo, congrats, Nerf Nitro. You did it. Nice work. Add self-heal to all heal sides. Add self-shield to all shield sides. Add pain to all damage sides. So, this is great on Poet. Just add self shield to all shield sites. Cool. Oh yeah. Dang, these are tough. Tough curses to open with. I don't know, I go random tier one here? What do? Yep, brand new as of this loop, Heavenly Chair. Here's the start for us. We got uh, Layton and Bone Math as our opening blessings. Then we have Rightmost Blank and Big Hitter 9 so far. Random Tier 1 can be so bad. Yeah, it's only a 16% chance to roll training. And uh, honestly, in some cases, this is probably uh, an upside because a lot of the hero side enemies have their best attack on the left hand side. So maybe damage isn't the worst. I haven't taken this one early yet, so let's just see how it plays. What's the worst that happens? We have to play more video games we enjoy? Oh man, that'd be tough. That'd be a tough. All right, so this is going to save uh, Herbalist and and Poet this round. Acceptable. Dang, it's a tough opening round, man. Do I go for these bandits or do I take out this alpha? I think we got to target the alpha here first. Well, this is a little bit inefficient. If this alpha starts summoning wolves, we're in huge trouble. <laughs> it was six damage anyways, no matter what. Okay, Bandit's not the most HP, so that doesn't work. Yikes. Okay, three damage hit is very useful. We're actually getting the kill before the wolf is summoned. That's huge. Staying alive. Yo, Swojack, thank you so much for that tier one sub six months in advance. Really appreciate that. Thank you for that big generosity. 
Hope you enjoyed the emails, community, and ad free viewing. Thanks, Bojack. Mana, mana. That kills this bandit, which saves the poet, at least. Nice. I do this round the Davilers dead next round. I guess they're kind of dead next round either way. Don't think I'm gonna block here because if I get any heal, I can at least save the Dabbler. This is better damage as well if I go this route. Can I clear the top poisoning one? Yeah, I bet I can. Let's do that. Okay, if we're going to do that, then I should block on Jester. Okay, we're there now. That was a, a little rabbit hole we went down. Okay, we'll take that. This at the very least saves the Herbalist, which I like. That also saves the herbalist, so we'll take that back, take this in, throw this back too. Keep them rolling. Roll them bone. Same scene. Alright, we're only one mana off the kill. Or one damage, for that matter. Keep him going. There it is. That's the damages. I've been waiting for a run where I can actually take roulettes, and it has not appeared yet. Seven damage, sticky, mandatory death. So you can't reroll this one, but all the other sides are just awesome. What you really need on this hero is something that replaces the left-hand side. Kronos, one damage weakened cleave is not inefficient. Not quite like Flick, but it's still pretty good. I'm going to give the Herbalist the cantrips now. He has growth here. Yes, I do want poison. And damage. Looks like we're stopping the Cyclops here, which is awesome. Start the poison train on the spiker here. Yo-ho, Hobo Kendall. Thank you for 120 months, a decade. Thanks for the decade of great content. Thanks for being here for it, Hobo Kendall. Appreciate all the support throughout all those years. 10 years, a long time, my man. Glad to still be here doing this thing. All right, so we stun Cyclops, then we reuse stun. Then we stun Spiker. Just like it never happened. Except for it totally did.
Sun's never bad. Uh, keeping the block on poets, definitely okay here. I just think we're kind of past the point where we need to. Indeed. Three stuns in a row. This poor Cyclops. This poor guy. I feel bad for him. He wasn't trying to kill me. Die, enemy scum. Add group growth to all heal self heal sites. Okay, so this like activates the same size. Like, for example, if we added that to uh, this herbalist, we use that, we get growth on all of these sides. So that's pretty nice. Replace all single sides with single use mana size, retaining the original pips and keyword. Yeah. That's interesting on Dabbler till we run into thorns. I like the botany here. There we go. So these become a lot more desirable now. Which one's better? Uh, the top one, kind of. They're pretty comparable, though. A lot of the same skills on top and bottom. Okay, well, this does save root, and it's saving eight damage. This is like a pretty good place to start. Stun looks kind of juicy. Regeneration looks okay, but we need better on this opener. Where's my damage? Oh boy. All right, that's something. Okay, well, if I take six mana and I hit the war chief three times, one damage pip is removed from every single enemy. So that's got to be worth something. The brute's taking more damage here, so I'm going to stun the top snake. This has hit the chomp. This is really nice. We're going to set up being able to block on the person taking damage from chomp. That's good. Dabbler with the clutch rolls here. Still dying, but why? But why? Because big tiefers, that's why. Dang. Okay, we can save it for a vine here. Alright. We can also, like, burst vine, and then we only have to worry about uh, damage on the bottom half. Feels like it's smarter to withhold as much mana as possible if we're not dying, so let's just vine here. Oh, additionally here, if we tick. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Now we're cooking with mayonnaise. Let's go. We've got a really nice chain reaction here on uh, Sniper. I think we can just kill the Chomp, Sniper, and both Snakes here if we get a good roll. Definitely not bad. There. Okay, let's go mana here. 
let's go ahead and block on Kronos for now. Yep, that's simple bone math. It all adds up. I mean, Fencer's it. Fencer is the damage versatility that we are sorely wanting on this run. Okay, poison's good. Block is good. Two times use damage is good, especially good if we have a double use. What am I going to roll here on Brute? I guess we're saving Brute with the, the block either way. Boy, howdy, that's certainly a turn. All right, so we have 4, 8, 11, 12, 13 damage if we did all in on the Troll King. Probably not. I think we're going to be saving here. The This not having any mana value is definitely tough for us. But you know what? Also fair. Imagine this without Fencer right now. Yikes. This is scary because Troll King has a 5 damage cleave he can do. That kills the archer. Serendipity. We are not going to be able to stun the Troll King this round. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on a minute. Look at it. Double, double growth here on the botany. It was not a combination that was on my radar till just a second ago. I realized it's a possibility. We'll go here. We're going to go ahead and go on Kronos. And then on the opposite side of the dice, we're getting bonuses on the bottom here. That's nice. Now we have a four damage double use on one side there. The one I was worried about, dude. Don't do that. Okay, big block's going to save Herbalist or Brute. That's nice. Let's just take the double big block here. We are very weirdly slow rolling the Troll King fight here. Uh, there we go. Got that growth on that five hit. Let's go. We're going to block. We're going to block again. Oh, yeah, he did it again, you son of a gun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we got the exact same save here. I'm going to take it. There's that big money damages. Love to see it. No damage incoming now because we are stunning him. But actually, instead of stunning him, how about we just kill him? The casual 16 damage between those two dying. Yellow heroes only, plus one pip to all sides. Prism add rainbow to the middle side. Alrighty. We do have a self shield and some other stuff here. Just self shield. Plus one pips all sides on brute sounds real cool. Hard to argue with plus one to all pips. Wow. After an ability is used, one self damage, curse bolt. This has been just a savage start for uh, curses. We're going to take big hitter eight, and I know because I looked, big hitter seven is where it gets really bad. So we could not take big hitter seven. Even big hitter eight has some pretty nasty complications, but we're going to we're going to work with it where we're at right now. There are definitely some worse random ones I could think of. So look at that. That seeing it right now, that's uh that's the one. We're gonna take this. I think we can save brute with it. With a three damage self shield, we can definitely save brute. Nice. 
go. Just start working our way in here. One upside to this is he is um, expiring himself by hitting us there. No more, no more of that after this round. I'm gonna poison the cough. Kind of tempted to tick here. Do that. Does three damage and it saves three damage too. So it's like six for four, kind of. We'll go here. Hard to argue with living. That's good. Oh, it activated the growth on this side, too. That is some serendipity right there. fight shaman or bash I like both of these uh, there's a definite synergy with the bash having this uh, steel side for damage with poets uh, charge thing I think we're definitely gonna go bash here bash just has that potential to do uh, big money damage on one round and straight up remove an enemy which is awesome I am going to take that, and if I get the uh, bottom side heart, I could even boost that. Protos, two mana sounds, fine. Not bad. I think we can do better. Whoa. Seven damage exert, huh? I don't like the idea of being exerted. Which one is this? The top one. Do we have top on anybody? We do. So before I do this, I want to use the regeneration. So that'll boost the mana one. Okay. Here's my thought. We go here for seven. Two. Probably two here. And I am considering using Blink here. I think maybe best just to take the hit. Leave the Basilisk on board. Chomp's got big old teethers and they hurt. We roll top again? Oh man, this is like Wombo right here. What a turn. What a turn indeed. Yo, here we go. That's the combo. Oh, we rolled it again? By good golly, you're so dead. You're so dead. Oh, 
All right, Silk Cape, copy the left side onto the middle row. Or Angel Feather, add Rescue to the top and bottom sides. Okay, Rescue top and bottom is pretty awesome. Copying Reuse over to the middle is good too, but I find that this is pretty useful on Kronos on some boss fights. I'm not too keen to replace that. Seven damage exerts, not the best pullover. Uh, you know, the, the mana contrips having four sides that are uh, one mana contrip is not bad. Yep, rescue on Herbalist could be good if the heal's able to save. I agree. I agree. Yep, cape on Fencer isn't bad. I agree. It's only six damage maximum, though. Herbalist probably has the highest upside with the Angel Feather, though getting rescues with uh, Poet is much more reliable because we can have the much bigger block source, where the Herbalist has to heal for exactly one to activate the rescue effect. I'm going to go Angel Feather on Herbalist, and we'll see if we can make it work. Make sure the order is right here. Probably saving Poet, at least. Okay, if we deal damage here, that also reduces damage on Poet, so he's going to be saved. Let's look for a better side on Fencer. That is a better side on Fencer, for sure. Hmm. With no damage dealt yet, this doesn't quite work. Top side, this is top side. Also top side, so we get huge damage increase off of that. Awesome. Alright, very good then. Let's just cast this on Poet, because he's going to be injured after this round for sure. Or not, because it's self-shield as well. True. Cast it on Fencer then. Oh, wow. This is such a good tick. To stop the stuff from being summoned. And I'm going to work at this golem. Golems are terrifying. With their shield bash. Gotta get that down. Okay, we gotta get... This is the bottom side now. This is the boosted top side. That's fine. Uh... Bottom side... Eh. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, all right. All right, then. Yeah, okay. We're going to get another one off of that, too. It's looking looking up. Let's take this. Lock on. Fencer here to keep him pristine. So we'll go vine here and then hit. And then hit again. Oh, it's looking good. All right, the last fight of loop number one is Dragon. Sorry about that. Clink, clink. So now this decides 30 damage heavy. So if they roll that chomp, we're uh, we're dead. Very tempted to roll into Herbalist here. Also, the heal all is not bad. I think Forsaken is very acceptable here. Wraith is also good because of the uh, this. But this spell right here, Bind, target ally becomes immune to damage this turn.
looks good. Two sources of mitigation. Also, look at all that growth we got there. Nice, man. I don't think I want cantrip single-use mana anymore. Put reuse here. Okay, that's the round. Fair. Okay, so it's definitely an opportunity to perhaps uh, knock the Kai out in round one, which would be massive. Ooh, yes. Okay, so we got it with this. What we don't have, though, is a save on Poet. I guess with self-shield we do, especially if we roll a mana here. There's no mana side on this, is there? It's bottom side, top side, mid side, mid side. All right, this is still fine. It's actually quite the exceptional turn because we are killing the ads and not losing anybody. Phew. What side is this? Middle? That's quite, quite good. Bash is currently taking 17. So if we can generate three mana, we live. And if we don't, we're dead on Bash. It's fine. Uh, exert here looks good. Let's roll the rest. Looking for maximum damage, please. Three mana. Bash is saved. Uh, if target's immune to damage, there's no point in even taking that. Great. All right, so we're going to use this first. Huh. Is eight damage right now worth having Bash exerted next turn? At 30 HP, so it is removing more than 25% of their remaining HP. So I'm going to say yes, that is worth Okay, heal and all looks good. What side is this? Bottom side? We already have a lot of boost to bottom side. Uh, Reuse looks tempting, but is it? Isn't the mana side the best side we can do here? Okay, Fencer dodging saves everybody here. So let's roll for the the mana. Ooh, lad. Yeah, I need a I need a source here. Oh, fair enough. We are getting poison, but we do also get to boost, and everybody's alive, so that, that could have been a lot worse. A terribly passive turn, though. Hmm. There's eight more damage. Kind of the weak side, but it's also where we're at. I'm gonna roll one. I don't think two is good enough here. Uh... Okay, heal two all does say bash, but not for two turns if I exert. So it's a bit a little bit of a misnomer, I think. If we block and heal on Poet, it does save him, however. Maybe we look for Shield Bash on Bash instead of Exert. I think that's fair, because we can save him for one more round. We don't have to expend this round. 
There's that. That's really good. Please give me reuse. Oh, two mana sure does feel better than nothing. Let's go ahead and take the two, because we get two again next round, we can at least cast bind. Not going to be much better than that. We're only a couple damage away from uh, victory. Wait, I have this again? Hold on a second. What? Did I just not cast that originally? Oh, right. It's rescue. Okay. I missed the rescue reuse. All right, let's check out the end here. Extra reroll or middle shield or random blessing. I mean, middle shield's definitely not bad. Random's definitely not bad here either. short break for me here while our ads play we'll be back in just a sec and then we'll make a decision i'm kind of leaning towards random though i do think middle shield has some good value Alright, uh, I'm back. We're clear. Thanks to those again that love the ads play. It does support a lot. Thanks for supporting our no frills format. No pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. No ads for uh, subs and turbo users, of course. Do appreciate your patience in that regard. Of course, as a content creator, I prefer that no ads play on any of my content ever, but that's not the uh, reality of the world we live in or the site that we stream on. I'm glad to have as minimal of a format as we uh, do currently. Let's take a look at blessings here. See the question in chat. What's the worst uh, blessing we could random into? I don't know. Find out. Modifier blessings. We're looking at number three here. So here's the three blessings. It's L9 blessing. Whoa. Four, five, four. Choose a tier four blessing. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, what is, what is the... 
they're all pretty good on threes. Maybe youth or... I feel like I'm going random here. I do think the third cell shield is pretty nice, which is what we're offered right now. But like it, when you get this, it's like you have to roll the middle dice one in six. And then you also have to be being attacked and want to use the dice that's in the middle. Now, the middle dice is generally pretty good, so it'd be inoffensive to take it. But I feel like the shield is maybe a little more wasted than perhaps um, self heal. The absolute best we can get is poison immunity, because then we'll be getting a three regeneration per round. So that's a temptation for random anyways. Lucky start. First turn, two rerolls. That's definitely not bad. I guess if that's not bad, then taking um, extra reroll is definitely inoffensive. One extra reroll on every single turn is actually quite good. If you think about what the dice do, when you start running into like cantrips and stuff like that, it's a lot more percentage chances to hit those. Yeah, I'm gonna take the extra reroll. I think this has actually like, uh, I think I'm undervaluing rerolls um, in general. Hold on, muting to eat a pretzel real quick. Yum. Yummers. Well, the one damage all side would be really good, but he only has two usable sides, so it's like, if I don't take that, unlikely we see it again. Let's take the bottom. Let's in here, pin pin the cat. Chill. Everybody's alive this way, at least. Oh, nice. This cat right now, my God. My God. Well, we can stop bringing from getting hit at all, which means we can just let this be um, right into us. That's cool. If I go here and here, this kills the wolf. Look at all that bone mass adding up, everybody. Don't even bother crunching the numbers. They're bones. Big heart, place the middle side with heal seven. Place blank signs with three damage death. Uh -huh. I mean, Doomblade Scoundrels kind of good. If we're willing to concede deaths, but seven heal is like a, a full replenish. Now let's take Doomblade. Never taken it before. Actually making some sense. Yo, Antif, thank you so much for that Prime subscription. Appreciate you making it official. 
Glad you're enjoying enough to even consider. Thanks. If that's good, that is also good. This is a good opening turn. All right, we can also take out the goblin here. Huh. Nah, we'll take the boar out first. Yo, Dark Poncho. Thanks for that two months. Appreciate that continuation. Roll it. Mercy. Roll it again. Extra reroll. Extra reroll is real good. Well, hand trips are it. We took extra reroll, so we are taking cantrip. You know what? Hold on to this weird curse blade thing. Just don't look at or talk to it, okay? Don't ask questions. Hmm. I want to roll for a buckle here, but this essentially makes this a no damage turn. Not even essentially, it makes it a no damage turn. Let's cast Hemlock on the Alpha. Yeah, been a fan of the bone math myself. It's been good. You know, I'm going to roll at least Herbalist here, looking for the growth side. Not using that mana. Not yet, anyway. Definitely a turn. Okay, with one more damage, I think this kills the alpha. Let's make sure that's correct. No, it needs two damage. Sure. Okay, that's not bad. Just keep the damage, it's looking good. Uh, this will at least keep the somebody alive. This is four damage. Keep it like this. Yo, make low. Thanks so much for that sub support. I really appreciate that. Welcome the dapper. Said it before, I'll say it again. Recurring sub is the best way to support this content. Thank you so much. Yo, Theodore Argash, thanks for the gift as well. Too kind. Too kind. All right, buckles saved. This fight is essentially over. All right, worn arms. Replace the top and bottom sides with two damage and two shield. Blessed ring. Replace the rightmost side with shield one rescue. Well, the top and bottom shield and sword does give Buckle one more attack right now, which is pretty cool. We also have Blessed Ring, which is just inoffensive. It's not hurting anything. Probably good on Buckle. Let's go ahead and take Blessed Ring, because it just fills up a pip. We don't have to concede anything to add something there. Okay, minus one offered item, fine. That's a problem for future me. All right, we're at five damage to kill the quartz. We can poison the Slimer. We're off to a fantastic start here. Great opener. 
Actually, we can double poison the slime. Alright, Slimelet. Your time's now. Pretty big fan of Whirl. I think Guardian's kind of better buckle, but uh, the damage on Whirl is undeniable. The area of effect things are very powerful. One thing I am liking about Guardian here is we do have uh, decent damagers already, and we're not really losing damage to take them. And this side right here, if we get it on the opening round, will cause whoever the militia is attacking to flee. That's a pretty decent justification. Most modes end at floor 20, uh, Benjamin, though some modes uh, loop. The modes in the curse folder loop, to be specific. And probably a few others. Okay, that kills us a duel. Hard to argue that. Hoping we roll one of those signs on Guardian. Awesome, there it is. So we're killing Sadul and the Militia's fleeing, which leaves only the Bandit. You know what? There is no Bandit here, because when we kill the Sadul, the Bandit's going to flee. It's an overkill. This fight is done. We hit for three. We hit for six. The bandit's out of here. He's out of here, too. Later, Tater. Plus one, minus two. So the plus one, minus two is good when you have an item that replaces the middle, like the buckler we had last time. So we use add a pip to the left, and then add the buckler after to replace. Or two random tier twos. It's no random. I don't have an item to activate that yet. Upon death, plus two mana. Leather gloves. Copy the rightmost side on the top and bottom sides. That is a weird one. go like this. Uh, right most and then top and bottom to have three shield one rescue signs, but eh, let's just go. I don't think so. That is the perfect spot for the hit to land against the slate. The blind will no longer flee now, though. They refuse. Okay, if we're killing the slate, the rogue lives. And we need four damage to do so. Hmm. Are we even going to get four damage? We got to roll the cleave on him to do that, or roll either of the monocytes. Let's take this, and we're going to go for that roll. Well, this also saves the rogue, so I think I'm going to take that for now. Fair enough. And in good news, he will die after his turn. Yo, Wally 6500. Thanks for 42 months. You got yourself the answer, dude. You did it. This should be kill here, because if the blind flees, we are making the goblin flee. All right, Faye or Sinew? I think I'm just going to take Sinew here. Sinew hits hard. He's got a little cleave going on. And while I do like the, the weaken on Faye, I find Faye to be a little bit ineffective in a lot of a lot of setups. Hard to argue against raw damage. 
Oh, there is a time and a place where I will take Faye. This weakens very powerful. That's tough. Let's get the bone math rolling, though. Okay, there's another cleave. Hmm. Poison's definitely not bad, but we're, we're a little bit shy on proccing this for the the proper setup right now. That's okay. It does give growth to all sides. I'm just going to go for it. Pretty nice opener. I just forget Sinew has that chain on that uh, cleave. Any other cleaves, it gets doubled. No reason we can't take out the Slime Queen this round. I don't see why we wouldn't. Yeah, that's five right there that actually does it as is. This also has cleaves, so we can take the damage up on the thing and reduce damage. Awesome. Keep rolling. Keep it rolling. All right, nice. I think this might actually be kill here. We're going to cleave block, making this two. We're going to hit the Slimer. Kill the Slime Queen. We are going to... Gold and burst. Now how we're going to burst here. That's simple bone man. Yeah, that's a great point, Ulfar. If you already have items that boost the weakened sides on Faye, they become a lot more powerful. And with items, they're definitely extremely strong. Agreed. Two times versus myself. A random four here. Two times versus targets with less HP than me. I want this on Rogue for more poison chance. Also, not bad on Sinew for an eight damage hit. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Eight damage, a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Well, slow spell four is definitely acceptable. I think you can down to slow spells uh, three or two is when it gets a little bit painful. On almost no turns are we casting four spells. Currently. Okay, Cleave's fantastic here. Poison's also great. Come on, hit, hit damage here. Thank you. Wow. That definitely added up. Vampires are classic. Got damage and mana size. Let's go. Great hero. Okay. Well, if we take these two, we can stun the Wiz this turn. That's great. Let's roll that. Oh, yeah. This is looking really good. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to hit chain here. Then we're going to chain here for two. Stunning the Wiz. Does this bring the Fanatic low enough? be killed here. No, they gotta be below half. So I can't just nuke the Slimer here. And maybe that's good enough, because it kills the, the Wiz. Almost. I think that's acceptable. 
Winning on turn one? That works. Had chained to the top and bottom sides. Okay. What can we chain here? Man, not much. I really like this item, but right now it's just not working. Ooh, era and plus one pip to all sides. Okay, or minus one pip. Uh... I think Caldera might be the man for the job here. Adding uh, more poison and cantrips on the second rounds too, but we lose out on cantrips on the first round if we do that. So era makes them minus one now, but plus one every single round. This gets out of control pretty fast. I guess Vampire becomes kind of a badass with Era. I'm in. A okay, 4 damage, 5 damage kills a Quartz. Or also, additionally, could kill a Zombie. I feel like 3 damage is really the best Caldera is going to do here. Let me see this real fast. Do four here. Three here. One. One. Let's say everybody removes almost all of the threat. So we'll just re re roll Guardian here. If you're ever unsure how to proceed in Slice and Dice, just play out your turn and take it back later. Yes, chain can proc itself. That is true. True. The save's Caldera. Sinews are only four hit right now, so I might as well just go for the uh, the stabilize instead. It's fine. Let's let's actually roll for the. Uh... Eh, I take it. I take it. Man. Now or never for Rogue. That's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. You can do better. There it is. That's better. Leader. Three, two, three... Two Smith, reuse. That's pretty good. I'm taking leader here. All right, y'all. Before we take on Rotten here for fight 32 of our second loop on this Blurst run, I'm just going to stand up stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Also, some ads are about to play. Uh, thank you if you let this play to support a lot. Do appreciate it. Uh, if not, totally understand. Regardless, we'll be back in just a few minutes here for some more slice and dice action versus the rotten. I think we are set up very well for this boss.
All right, I'm back. Just waiting a second here for the uh, the ads to clear, and then we'll resume. Yeah, this game saves constantly. Never, never stop saving. You can come back to a run mid-turn if you want to. All right, we're back here, headed into Rotten Fight. Another question in chat, why leader's good? Leader's good because there's a very versatile hero. Basically what leader is, is flexible. Um, they have direct damage sides. They have this side which can duplicate other dice. So if you roll a bunch of duds like X's, you can turn them into damage or you have excess block. You can turn that into damage too. Um, uh, reusability is I think universally pretty useful because you can double any dice. And Smith is also quite flexible because it provides shield and boost uh, attack or shield targets. So I can go like one poison to three poison. Leader is definitely not my favorite, but they're very consistently good because they amplify other heroes' abilities. Case in point. Yeah, this is a little bit scary here. I'm hoping we roll the big block on Guardian. Nice. All right, so I want to get the poison train started on Rotten right away. I'm going to clean up these bones after the fact. Let's just hit this bones. All right. It's definitely a bit scary. Two times versus targets with less HP than me. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a kill on the imp. It's also a kill on the top or bottom bones. Two times versus targets with full HP. Regardless of that, we still want to do this. By killing this bones, we save the leader. What's going on with the... Uh... Where's the targeting thing? One sec. Okay, we're good. Hmm. You can hit by the top bones too. Okay, that's probably the better target that removes four damage. This saves the vampire. Two mana good, but two attack to heal would be better. Let's roll it. Five heals decent. I'm not going to deny taking that now. Ouch. It's got to be a wicked good scald in here somewhere. Okay, I have six so I can double scald right now. Let's hit this bone, so damage the rest of the enemies, and then double scald it up. Nice. Yeah, Pneumatic, I've had it come back uh, in and out. That's got to be a glitch with 3.0 currently. Uh, I think we just had to reboot the game or go to a different UI size. Because I think as we started here, it might be why. It's easy enough to tell the targeting anyways by clicking on the characters of the enemies. It changed when I went to a different UI size, so I was much lower on uh, raid mode. Definitely a thing that's happening right now. I bet if we uh, rebooted the game, it'd probably re reappear. If I had to guess. Alas. Arma. Self heal to all heal sides and self shield to all shield sides. Self shield to all shield sides, good here. It does add pain to the the one cleave. That's inoffensive. Arma. 
All right, Skulk 3, third turn, monster pips, plus one. Arthritis, tier three heroes, minus one HP. And I think overall, Skulk 3 is a little bit less offensive because it doesn't remove HP. Some fights are going to go to the third round, though, for sure. Skulk 3 is rather inevitable in the grand scheme of curses we can get. All right, this kills a snake at least. He has 9 HP, so if I do this, it does 6? No, it has to be less HP exactly. But at first, it does 6. Yeah, I'm not willing to lose Rogue over that. We'll just take out the snake who's doing poison and say that was a suboptimal round. Arthritis is definitely fine too, but since we have the latent regeneration, the higher our HP cap stays, uh, I'd say the better off we are, generally speaking. Let's kill the troll? I think it does. Ogre. Ogre, rather. Okay, yes, it did. I'm just going to re-roll these two. Good and great. I'm actually going to withhold that. I don't need to use it, so I'm not going to. Our regeneration will kick in the second we find poison immunity is a blessing. Which is not guaranteed to happen anytime soon, but it will happen eventually if we survive. Okay, how much HP does he have? Oh, this kill right here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Sharp Shot's kind of an ace, but uh, Wizard's quite good, too. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards random here. Could be Roulette. Could be. All right. Stalwart is not too bad here. We got Self Shield on all these sides. That's a lot of HP value he can provide. Yeah, Cocoon Wizard is pretty nuts. I agree. I didn't even think about that combination. That is a mighty fine idea. What if we just roll really good shields here and have the blind flee? Doesn't seem terrible. Yep, that's exactly it. Swablu. That's the one. If I roll the cleave block, we're in good shape. Nice, perfect. So by not attacking, we make the blind flee, and then just this remains. Only taking four damage to remove the AoE unit. Looks cool. Yo, Rob Rhino, thanks so much for eight months. Enjoy your lurk. Cheers. Hmm, 
that's actually quite interesting. Let's just check this out real quick. Bone math adds up. Ooh, plus one pip to all shield self shield side. Well, that's better than blessed ring here. Get plus one pip and self shield on all sides. We can just pass this over to Aldera. What style are going to get this better here? I guess the cleanse blocks are right. This just is a huge amount of damage reduction, though. It is important that we do something productive with this round, so I don't want to lock in a bunch. The top dice on leader would kill the ghost outright or the war chief. Let's roll all of these. Yeah, Smith is pretty good, too. Hmm. Looking at maybe making the bandit flee here. Yeah. Let me just check this real quick. So if we go here and here, and then we hit here. Bandit's out of there. It's gonna be as good as Vampire can do, really. And we'll block for Caldera. Noise. Okay, if I can heal, this kills the ghost. Perfect. It saves Caldera as well. Beautiful. Top most enemy first. Cool. That looks just fine. So as long as the leader has more HP than the ghost here, we get a six damage hit instead. block first and I hit here and here I get a better infuse out of that there it is <laughs> I don't think I don't think that was better now that I'm thinking thinking that back through fair enough this is the kill right here I'm gonna block we're gonna boost the hit Got him. Fight 36, Tarantus. Yeah, Venom's all right. I don't have any other poison synergies, so less so, though adding poison in is very good. Kronos is okay, too. I would say Kronos has been pretty good for us. This... One damage we can cleave is a pretty powerful spell. If I have two characters with reuse, what am I trying to reuse here? One possibility would be uh, reusing like poison. Reusing block like we got a pretty stable setup with that, too. I'm going to take Kronos. Aldera has been quite good. Yeah, I'd say Kronos is technically a damage down. This could get weird pretty fast. Three spiders? Come on, dude. Three? Oh, I should put the cocoon on Kronos after this fight, provided we live. And I will. Mm, the double use site is better. I 
I want to use that. Yeah, the amount of spiders here is very scary. Let's go ahead and get Tarantus started with poison. And then we can try to uh, power down spiders next round. Very luckily, no, no spiders poisoning this round. Empire, two mana, I think is as good as we're going to do here. I do think leader has a better side than this, but... Okay, I can save somebody with this, and then use it again on Vampire. Uh, is that good enough? Does Kronos need to do better? Kind of does. Tick is always a possibility here, too. Let's see what Tick looks like. Hmm. You know, that looks, um... Harrowing, but effective. That's a big old chompers, dude. Dang. Plus 14 on that. I can block for... Uh, 12 with these two. Oh, I think we've now entered like a DPS race situation. Let's go here. She weakened. She is. This is probably good too. Let's just roll it up. Okay, that's good. Infusion seems really nice. Okay. Lens block saves vampire. Maybe we're not going for the leader roll. Let's just see what this looks like real quick. Oh, we cleanse the weekend, right. We do have rerolls, so what could we do that's better than that? Rogue's gonna die this turn anyways to the poison, which I guess is what it's saying. I think this might actually be our best round possible. Let's back it up and look at the various pips, though. A cruel, cruel dagger could be interesting on Rogue as a possibility. Reuse on leader would probably save somebody else. Additionally, smith on leader just to apply even more poison to Tarantus could be pretty monumental. Cleanse on vampire seems to be the way. Then these spiders drop. Let's reroll leader here. Nice. <laughs> 
that looks much nicer. Rogue's dead anyways. Uh, Spider's almost dead. We have three characters remaining. Okay. If Tarantus wasn't poisoned for three here, I'd be very worried, but he is. Actually better that he's doing this. Awesome. It's four damage, six, eight damage. All right, we just live here. A scary one. And cleave to the middle side. Cleave here is pretty dope. Give him that instead of the hat. Lightning at the end of turn, third turn, one damage to all allies or hurried minus one level up choice. Let's go end of third turn here. I haven't played with that curse very much. Good. Well, this definitely saves everybody. Gonna be best here. Gotta reroll for cantrips, hopefully one hitting the Hydra. <laughs> Double reuse. Three, four, no. Fair enough. Uh, probably not killing the Hydra this turn. Unless we grab the reroll here. Duplicate here is what does it. Okay. Definitely worse openers to have. Who's getting pain applied? Vampire? Okay. Right, that is pain now. In the block's not bad. It also stops the pain, saves their life. I need to roll for the duplicate to kill this Hydra. Well, if we were able to cleanse, that'd be a lot. rolling again. Ouch. <laughs> Semi-stable on block here. Pretty impressive, really. Really just need duplicate here. Ouch. Okay, here we go. Okay, four is good. We can get uh, a re-roll here on the four. We can kill the Hydra. One. Ooh, we're super weakened right now. Holy guacamole. We did get re-roll, though. 
Yeah, unfortunately, there's not quite enough here. Almost to save everybody. The okay, one thing we can do is we can cast Tick here on the Hydra. And then Burst, Burst, keep everybody alive. Wiz is stunned this round. Keeps our options open. Fairy, though. And looking at a couple infuses here. That is a huge heal, wow. Gift mana, please. Uh, five damage heal? Is decent. Five mana's not wrong. Okay, I believe we're gonna live here. Oh, it's going to be close, though. Okay, we're going to hit once here. Go one, two, three, four. You're dead. Wow. Well survived, crew. Yeah, let's go here now. Definitely taking Agent. Also, Agent with Cocoon is very interesting for the quad uses gaining damage, but we'd have to keep him alive, which I suppose with Stalwart is not all that hard to do. We we'll just give him a really, really weak opening round. Think of the damages, though. This does save the leader, which is not nothing. This kills a shade, which is also not nothing. Yeah, damage isn't bad. Reuse, we can kill both shades with leader. That's amazing. Okay. That is a heckin' good start to this combat. <laughs> serrated. What is what does serrated mean? Two times versus targets that have gained no shields this turn. Okay, so that's a six damage hit. Uh, I think we're good here. We go infuse, get him to six so we can kill the con one hits. Kill the zombie here. Definitely good enough. Oh man, their reuse with this quad use is so good. Second heart, plus one HP for each HP, yes. And that goes on Agent, because they are like the win condition here. Gotta survive long enough. Ooh, I'd really prefer not to lose anybody on this fight here. You don't mind. This doesn't lose anybody, technically. We are going to have the Wisp casting Pain on Agent, though, twice. Not the end of the world.
Let's see where we get if we duplicate here. I tell you that's not that's not nothing. Oh, we have cleave on this. That's why it's so good. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're not hitting there then. Let's just open with cleave. We're getting six damage a hit, I mean. There's a better way here. And this is that better way, except we're gonna do it the other way around so the Ka lives with one health. And then the vampire also survives it. Okay. Yeah, any keywords on it will uh, persist. That's correct. Including cleave. Is looking at mighty fine rate. Okay, apparently I did it again, but it, even better this time. I don't actually know what the difference was between the last attempt I did and that one, but that's not how I saw it happening. <laughs> if it works, it works. Two times the six dice used this turn. Okay, easy. Oh, uh, we don't have a six dice. We have five people. Okay, well, they're dead anyway. All right, Inevitable is here. Inevitable is pretty scary. Uh, and the longer the fight goes on, the worse it gets. That's okay. I kind of like Wraith here. Uh, I think Wraith, uh, the self-heal, self-shield side can completely stabilize Agent if you got the quad use at a decent damage. Um, cantrip dodge never bad and the worst case scenario killing an ally and healing five to all allies is actually quite good additionally though uh, doctor is pretty good here with the poison all poison is good inevitable and the regeneration two is very stabilizing as well with how much block we're generating on stalwart i'm gonna go for wraith here I think that's our best way forward What does this do? <laughs> Target gets plus two. No. It is not the one. Right, he's not inflicting any malices. Cool. We do kind of need that. I don't know, that duplicate site again would be would be pretty mint. There it is. Duplicate cleave. Uh, I'm gonna fish here. I think we're done. Could be another shifter side. Just death wish, okay. Well, I did not kill the wisp. Interesting.
I don't feel like Tick is worth uh, casting here. Also, a really nice opening round. So our goal each round is to get to a new pip of the uh, the damage here. What do we got? Exert activates for all allies. Let's never cast that. Thanks. This is what weaken era. So we'd like to get the shield cleanse side here. Okay, there is a uh, 12 damage. So we're gonna get to the pip with that. Awesome. Might go for a weaken here. Okay, we hit the cleanse. Awesome. So we're gonna pre cleanse cl Chronos. We're going to boost this. We're going to get this pip down. Nothing left to do. Alright, Cleave's less important now for sure. What is this one? He's doing exert. Yeah, so I'd like to dodge on this. We got to get as much damage in here as we can. At least pass this pip. Hopefully with a big hit would be ideal. Okay, Tick isn't irresponsible because at least saves everybody. Three damage, not that useful right now. This block is, though. Not getting cleanse with that, which is tough. Uh, this brings us to six, eight. I can double tick. I might. Lens. Okay, here we go. Okay, so he's casting exert on the bottom three heroes. Which hero is the least useful next round? Which hero is the least useful next round? Also, we need to get past this pip, so maybe one tick, one burst. I feel like Wraith is maybe the least useful. We'll block on Kronos and then block on Stalwart. And go here and here. We're gonna go one tick, one burst. Popping that uh that pip. Okay. Yeah, so exhaust doesn't apply an actual number. It's a great question. Uh, exhaust um instead just applies a value. So you either have the exhaust value or you don't. Okay, really hoping to get more block here. Hopefully don't whiff. Don't need that. I'm just not going to even use race uh, ability this turn. Okay, Stalwart does have a bad side here. So since the reuse is only good on this, I'm going to go ahead and do that to save as much damage on agent as possible. Really using that to maximize the damage I'm getting here as he is about to heal a bunch. Just save the damage. Things like poison or weaken, though, will do that. I believe pain is the same as exert in that sense that you uh, remove it that way. Okay, this is pretty good. Double use is good. Uh, definitely not opposed to smithing the double use on stalwart. Like, as long as agent stays alive, we are improving here. Also doing eight damage, so if we do four here plus eight, we're gonna get through that next pip, which is what I care about. 
Okay, yeah, we're getting through that next pip. We're gonna boost this. We're gonna block here. We're gonna block here. We're gonna do it again. Nobody's taking damage. Beautiful. He's adding pain to all the sides. That's tough. We have five damage he dies, though. We got it. Somehow, some way. There it is. Woo! GG. Yo, Garanga. Thanks for that big 3 zero. Appreciate that 30 months. Okay, preparation. The start of the first turn, shield two to all allies. Versatile four, four level up choices, or random blessing. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, Versatile feels nice, but I'm leaning towards random here. You know, I'll tell you, what, I was going to have to wait till the next time we play Slice and Dice, but I'm sure it'll be sometime soon. It's a pretty cool start to our Blurst run. Uh, if we get Poison and Vulnerability, it's really going to pop off because we have the latent regeneration. We got Bone Math, extra rerolls. And we'll choose a blessing next time we play. Not sure about the status of tomorrow, but we'll update Discord for sure. As always, just thank you all for the uh, questions, comments, conversation, and the amazing time here enjoying this awesome game. I think you're all excellent. Appreciate your questions, comments, conversation, and everything else. Appreciate all the support as well. Be back and at it again soon for some more fun. Until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. Frag out. <laughs>